Welcome back, everyone, to Calls with the Wizard. I want to thank everybody on the live chat, everybody who's tuning in, everybody who's got their plate ready, everybody who just got home from work, took a shower. Maybe some of you guys didn't take a shower, but you got your feet kicked up, and they're all stinky and shit. So, But anyways, I want to thank everybody. Pop open a six-pack, because today's going to be really, really good. Uh, but before I introduce my very special guest, I'm going to go ahead and say that if you guys didn't be able to, weren't able to catch a conversation with Marvelous, make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you, you guys check out uh, News of Norby's. Make sure you guys check out Mitchie Slick. Make sure you guys check out, you know what, Papa Snoop. We just have a great lineup, Battle Cat, uh, Breeze. We just had so much. So once again, I want to thank everybody who's tuning in tonight. So um, other than that, I got some very special guests coming up in the future. Many of them, I, think, I believe one of them is a female. Well, I know she's a female, but that many of you guys have requested, so she'll be here soon as well. Uh, I got a great, great lineup. But other than that, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Have fun tonight. And uh, let me go ahead and introduce somebody who's no stranger to this podcast. The one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Maito. Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, Maito? Great, nice to be back. Yes, yes. You know what? And I'm glad you brought that up because I, I got... I got some dates, okay? The first time you were here was June 10th, 2020. Correct. June, yeah, yes, 2020. June, yes, 2020. During the pandemic. During the pandemic. I okay. was all scared. Yeah, exactly. I was like, this was going to give me COVID. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what? But I'm glad you came, though. It showed that you had balls. Right. And, you know, and of that. Course. Yeah, and they. Want to see them? Yes. <laughs> 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 and it, it just showed that, you know, you weren't scared of COVID, homie. Right. Okay. And then um, 2021, April 25th, 2021. Wow. But, and you know, people have been requesting you. Right. I don't know. I didn't know that. Well, no, no, no they've been requesting you. Like, well, I mean, I don't know why either, but yeah, they've been requesting <laughs> <laughs> So uh, other than that, Maito, how have you been? Fill us up. Uh, fill us up. Uh, uh, fill us in, you know, with, from... 2021 to 2023, what has Maito been doing? Well, <clears throat> well, during the pandemic, we couldn't really do much, you know. After it kind of like slowed down, you know, well, last year I got my kidney transplant. For real? For real. So, you know, Congratulations, so, give him a hand clap. That's a good thing. I'm so happy for that, you know. I feel more healthy, more, you know, more, with more energy. Okay. More stamina. 
more stamina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like you know, that. So everything's good, you know? Like, okay. You know, working and just, you know, living day by day, you know? See, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Because uh, I know I just recently started following you because I tagged you today. Now, you know, this is like now my seventh page. Right. My seventh page because my shit is getting deleted mysteriously. You know, it's funny because when, whenever you trim the fat from your team yeah. and you kick them all out, shit starts going wrong all of a sudden. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. So, yeah. So, but I'm glad you're here. Now, uh, last time we talked, we talked about a, a show called Maito's World. Correct. Uh, how has that progressed? Is it still going on? Or? It's still going on, but in those times of COVID, uh -huh. we, it was really hard to actually do something because everything was closed. But now it's like, I, I told myself, now I'm healthier, now yeah. I, that there's more energy, now it's time, you know? Now it's time to, you know, shut down the internet, you know? like Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut exactly. It down. It's yours. It's, it's, it's the mine. world is yours. Yeah, it's mine. You're just living in it. Yeah, yes, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you know? So, it's, it's, um, we're planning out, like, some new activities, you know, things that you normally don't see a little guy do, we're going to do. Okay. You know, so it's um, it's gonna be a kind of like a a struggle in the beginning to think about um different things to do, but it won't. Well, I can say it. Eventually, we'll, we'll think of things, you know, like right. to do. Like, how what would you like to see me do, like in a reality show or in a? Well, you know, okay, let me. Th okay, maybe not that, but <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, um, you know what I would like for you to do to go to uh, just to start off. Mm. Go to different restaurants, mm. let them put a bib on you. A bib? Yeah, like a bib. Uh -huh. Have the owner pick you up and walk you like, you know, in the restaurant. Uh -huh. And have you taste like their food? Like, what's their best dish? Well, I don't know about the bib part and carrying part. <laughs> you know, that's, that, that seems kind of humiliating. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just a thought. It's just yeah. a thought. So, uh, so. No, it's just, I mean, like crazy activities, like, you know, things that you don't expect a little person to do, like. Go shoot a fucking pity cow. Oh, or what about cow tipping? Are you familiar with cow tipping? Yes, my, brother, my friend used to do that in Nebraska. Okay, do he, you think you... He couldn't do that. It's okay. impossible to tip a cow. Oh, okay, okay. What yeah. about a tip a torta? Hey. Well, what? A tip a torta. A tip of torta? Tip a torta. You oh, know? like a, like a, like a, a kind of like a... Like a marrana. Oh, like, oh. <laughs> A, a female marrana? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we could try that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. See, we, yeah. you rarely ever see a little guy do that. Yeah, well, I don't see nobody doing that. Yeah, well, you know. I see him on, sometimes on the internet. But yeah, but you, you have never tipped one. No, I I ne never, oh, never. Okay, you see. Yeah. I kicked one out of here. Well, now everything's a sexual harassment, so you gotta be careful with that. Y you know what? And you're absolutely right. You can't even look you at. Yeah, you can't even look at them because you're like, oh, sexual harassment. <laughs> yeah. You can't even smell them. Right, you know what was funny? <laughs> you can't even compliment them. No, you can't because you're flirting with them. Yeah, and that's called his sexual harassment. Yeah, I remember this one girl on a video, she was filming this one guy telling her, you parked cl too close to my car, scoot over. Yeah. And he touched her door, and she said, hey, you touched my door, that's harassment. Really? Yeah. And, and was, she won. No, 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 no. It was oh. just, he goes, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, they were going back and forth, but like, but what you were saying that everything is supposedly now harassment. Yeah, even, you know? even... Pepe Le Pew got banned because he was sexually harassing the skunks. You know what? <laughs> and I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> a lot, the skunkas, yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't know who Pepe Le Pew is. It's not, they don't know. It's yeah. old school. Yeah, old school. So definitely check out Pepe Le Pew. Just, just Google his ass. Yeah, he used to go for it. Yeah. You know, so, he was so not you know, scared. Yeah, exactly. You know what? I heard your phone going off. Is that like female, your female fan base? Yeah, kind of. Okay. My personal fan base. Okay, and then I see you with two phones. Like, what's the deal behind that? Well, one is b business, and the other one's um. Pleasure. Uh, personal. Personal. Oh, per personal. Yeah. Per personal. And an another another P. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, separate both. You know. You, you have. To, you definitely have to. You gotta keep it balanced. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, I don't want to talk to them. I just change the number. You know. Right. Right. Exactly. That's it. Now, 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 let me ask you this. Um. Because this is what's trending, and I wish it wasn't trending, but they, the Titanic thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The submarine. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Because supposedly they said they got maybe now, maybe 12 hours left of breathing down there. 
Would you would have took us that trip, Maito? Hell no. No, huh? Fuck no. Uh, but uh, but there's some people with money, you know. So you got, I think you got like one or two billionaires on there. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't have done something. Did he better. sign a waiver form or like did he sign like his like? Yes. Did he? Oh, I guess he did. He's yeah. Alex. He signed like something before he he went out. They all did. No, oh. like meaning like 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 okay, if I die, I'm gonna like leave my wealth Inheritance. to my kids. Yeah. My, his will. Yeah. That I, was a dumb one. Yeah, I don't know about. I wouldn't do it. I mean, look, if you're a billionaire, why don't you build your own shit? Yeah, build your own shit, or you know what? Sabes que? Raise that motherfucker if you got the money. Right. Let, let, Where's these people at? Yeah, exactly. You know, let, let, if Chapo could do it, but this, if you know, if Chapo could build good ass fucking submarines, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> nice tunnels too. Honestly, they they got better submarines than than the Titanic did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're saying that they contr they controlled it with a um, a little PlayStation control. Yes, PlayStation control. Yeah, like uh, what's it called? Uh, um, yeah, the aftermarket one. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust that shit. I wouldn't trust that shit either. It's just, it, it sucks. Okay, but now, somebody submitted a question. Okay. Okay, but now, do you remember we covered it, I think, the first time you were here? You're going through the airport. Oh, they yes. open up your bag. Right, right. And then he found this nice, big eggplant. AR, AR-15. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now do you remember what that was? Yes. What was it? An AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a what's it called? A, it was something deadly. It, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it could have been deadly. You could smack the shit out of somebody. It, 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 yes. Now, I guess the question that they wanted to know was that really yours? It, um, that wasn't mine. Okay. No. Why so, would I carry stuff like that? Well, well but you, I'm glad you're answering because they're watching. That was Jimmy's, but he just didn't want to cross it to the airport. Oh, okay. But yeah. why was it black? Why was it black? I don't know. He, that's his stuff. That's his fetish. He has something with... <laughs> it could have been pink. It could have been green. Could have been know? red. Could have been red. Color, but he decided to have it black. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What, what what color would you decide if you... That was your... <laughs> Dude, that thing got me by surprise. It was like at four in the morning. I was still half asleep. And I was like, when I got to secondary, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, well, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. And the girl opened it and she fucking just closed it back on. Off. Like, and I was like, huh? You know? Yeah, what the hell was that? Yeah, well, what was that? She's like, well, I can't open it here. I'm like, why? <laughs> so they took me to a little room. They started taking shit out, analyzing everything for drugs. Who? They started from the tip down to the balls. From the tip to the yeah, balls? Yeah, to oh, see if they had drugs inside. Oh, wow. And after they figured out that nothing ha nothing's inside, they're like, okay, you can leave, you know? But right, right. I was well, like, can I throw it away here? He's like, no, you got to take it. Oh, they wouldn't even let you throw it? No, they're like, they made me take it home. That's messed up, huh? Yeah, and they're it, like, just shut it down, you know, and keep going. You know what I would have done? I would have just took it out of the bag and just held it by the hand and just walk with my suitcase with it, let everybody see it. Right. If you're going to try to clown me, you might as well just... Get my own clown. I would have gotten it and I would have thrown it at him right in front of everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, here. I did get mad. I started cursing like super loud in the airport. No shit. You started making a scene. Yeah. Well, yeah, you wouldn't. Well, if it was mine, no, but since it's not yours, yes. <laughs> I told, no, but I, I started making a scene without it, you know, but I'm like, fuck you and this and that. Everybody, like, it, it was really loud. Like, they're, no they, shit. they're like, hey, you know, you guys gotta leave. You guys gotta leave, you know, and I'm like, they're still cursing. No shit, like yeah, you didn't get like get, a, like an escort, the police coming. Yeah, and they, we got that because I started talking shit to everybody. No they, shit. There was like about 20 people that they were laughing like from our team, you know, because oh. everybody was in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who was the one filming? You know what? That's one of um, Rancho Mille's, um, um, I say, what is this, assistants or I don't know what you call him. Somebody but, on the staff. Yeah, I don't even know how he got in there. Oh, okay. Like, he just like appeared right there, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just filmed. And All right. Here's another one that I think would be kind of funny. Maito walks into a hustler store. Do you know what a hustler store is? Of course. Okay. Well, how would you know? Because I've been there <laughs> with some girl. <laughs> I've been there with some girl. Okay, okay. Now, if you don't mind me asking you, like, what did you buy? What did you buy for, for yourself or for her? I think I bought her some lingerie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any, no toys included, nothing like that? No, no. No gel? No. Okay. I think I bought like I think I bought like a little ring that vibrates. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who was that for? 
for, I guess for, for me, but to use it on her, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, just I'm just making sure. Um, now, I think that would be a good episode, though. Right. Maito, you know, walks in there, and then, you know, you kind of get your now. Now, what kind of show is it? Is it going to be comedy? Well, it's going to be have everything. It's going to have like I think I, uh, I want to make it kind of like a reality. So I want it to be like kind of like episodes. Yeah. And leave people like have dramatic stuff, like actually have you know women fights. Okay, give me an example. Like say. Say that one girl walks into the room and she catches you with another one? She likes that. Like dramatic stuff, like, you know, like... Oh, shit. Some, it was it, some Kardashian type of stuff, you know, the drama. Car- yeah, there you go. You w- would, would you ever include the Kardashians to come in and for you to film oh, with Yeah, them? sure, you know, they want. They want you know? Which one, Kim? Whoever's available. Or what about or- Kaylin? Uh. <laughs> Kaylin. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm just trying to spice it up. That's right, right. All. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, like I said, like we'll, we'll we'll see what leads to what, you know. Okay, okay. Have you guys started filming yet? We haven't because we're still planning it out. Like, okay. Now, is it safe to say that if any female watching wants to be in it, how, uh, how do they go about it? Do they contact you? Well, they could contact my production team. Okay. Yeah, and 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 um. Or they could contact me and I'll lead them to my production team, you know? Okay, so make sure you guys DM him, send him pictures, whatever <laughs> you guys want, you know, and we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be interesting because I think nobody, like, you know, there's no, like, I haven't seen really, like, little people shows yeah. that are crazy, like. Right. And, you know, I see the little people, like, little little, like, little women of L.A., oh, but sometimes, yeah. like, I feel like it gets boring after a while. Right. Or, where women fight over dumb things. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's me. You know? No, I, I, I really don't watch those type of shows. But me I either, w- I only watched it once. Okay, but I would watch yours. I think you're an interesting type of guy. I think a lot of people find you interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're trying to make it interesting, you know? Yeah. Now, here I'll tell you another thing that was interesting. You showed up in a truck today, uh-huh. and you were the one driving. Yeah. Okay, see, that's something... Right. That I would never expect little people to do, like you drive? said. Drive? Yeah, drive. Well, a lot of people, little people drive. Okay, I, I'm going to tell you why. Because in the in the neighborhood, I had, like, homies that were, like, 4'10", mm-hmm. okay? And they all drive big trucks, mm-hmm. okay? And what happens is, like, they would have the seat all the way back. Mm-hmm. And I would ask them, how in the fuck do you drive? And their tippy toes were like this. Right. On the gas, you know. And, I'm, and I was like, you're going to do all that just so you can look a little bit taller? Mm. But you don't give a shit, right? I don't give a shit. You okay. Know? I I feel like I was discussing with Pablito today. Like, I feel like from all the little people that that are into the regional music, see, yes, like I'm the only one that like could do like a bunch of stuff. You know, I seen yeah. one that like for example, I know two that like, they can't drive. Okay. You know, they don't drive. I actually I uh, did a blog with one of them, and I had to teach them how to drive a little bit. And I'm really? like, and I'm like, dude, I'll help you drive, you know. Yeah. I'll teach you. I'll give you, I'll give you pedal extensions for free, you know. Help um, them out, be more independent, you know. Yeah. Because when I was growing up, never nobody teach, taught me. Nobody taught me. Not my family. Not not anybody. I had to actually learn by myself and just say, you know what? I want to be more independent. I gotta do what I gotta do, and I started driving. What about releasing your own pedals? See me. Like you said, you had ex- pe- pedal extensions. Right. Do you do you think there's a market for that? Yeah, there's some, yeah, of course. Somebody, you know, like obviously, I I got that from some guy in Texas that he makes them. Oh no shit! They're like about two hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you need to do Maito's pedals. Maybe. You know that. that but might, it's, it's really, really um, how can I say? It's really rare when I come come through. I mean, it's really rare when I actually meet a little person. Oh. Okay. Like, it's like I don't really hang around with them. I don't. It's like, it's really, really weird. Like, I freak out. Bruce? Yeah, I freak out. Like, well, I remember one time, like, a long time ago, I went to the Little People of America Poker Tournament. Oh, wow. And, and they looked at me like I was a weird one, you know? And I was like, and I was drunk. I was super drunk that day. And I, and I got mad, and, and I started making a scene, because they were looking at me like... Yeah, they're looking at you kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, and I'm like, Why? But the thing is, is like you know, I kind of understood. You know, I'm not like them because they have big butts, little le- little arms. You know, <laughs> they walk like dinosaurs and big heads. And, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually proportioned, you know. And oh that's goodness. what it's all little people, you know, I'm, you know. Right, not, you're not insulting that's anybody. All little people are created equal. Yeah, you just, it was just your observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Damn. Okay. Okay, I'll leave that one alone because I don't want to get in trouble. But um, <laughs> now, you say you made a scene like, like Scarface, you know, he say, 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 say goodbye good, to yeah, the bad good guy. Bye, say goodnight to the bad guy. That yeah, guy. Okay. Like that. Because I was playing poker and I said, and some guy was like mad dogging me, right? And I just threw all my cards and I said, oh, in, because I just wanted to leave. Right, right, and right. And I fucking came out all drunk and talking shit and my friend got me and he, he took me outside. No shit. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, uh, do you still drink? No. Okay. I don't. Okay. I don't. I hey, is that for health reasons or is that? You know what? Um, one of my exes, like okay. a month ago, hmm. she gave me some alcohol a little bit because she was fucked up. I was taking care of her, and she gave me some, and I'm like, damn, this is nasty. Like, this is nasty. I, I, I don't. Now it's like, I can't swallow it, man. I can't. Yeah. I cannot tolerate. Yeah, yeah, it's because you've been so long without it. Right. It's more than like 10 years. Now, okay, so, so you said now your ex gave you some. Yeah. So does that mean you're single right now? Yes, I am. Okay, and are you ready to mingle? Of course. I'm always ready to mingle, even when I'm with somebody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. Okay, well, you know what? I just had to ask because I know there's a lot of young hotties out there right. that are looking for a, a good, righteous man. Right. Okay. You know, and, and especially if you're about to have your own show, right. about to blow up. You know, you're already famous as it is, right. you know, <clears throat> so I'm glad. Now, uh, um, as far as movies is concerned, mm -hmm. do you have anything lined up as far as, you know, well, do you, do you want to act? Yeah, you know, that's my, one of my goals since I was like 18, 19. Like, I came out in like some independent films. Okay. But I want to do more. I want to like, you know, I want to transition from the music, Spanish music, mm -hmm. to movies. That's all, it, it, it's always been my goal to like, to do movies and, and stuff like that. Like, I, it looks like when you don't want to get into something, you get into something. Right. But when you really want to get into something, you don't, you don't, you don't get into it. Right, right. Okay. You know? Now, <clears throat> you, you had mentioned uh, movies and stuff. Uh, what kind of roles are you looking to play? Well, I usually get like the tough guy. Role. Okay. I, I, like the I tough imagine. guy, the monster, gangster. the gangster. Okay. You know, like. Playboy at all? Yeah, you know, like the owner of a strip club and stuff right. like that. And yeah. Okay. You know, it's cool. You know, I don't mind. You know, I don't get... Good thing I don't get, like, degrading roles, you know? Okay, okay. You know, now, I, would you play any role? What type of role? No, I'm just asking before I ask not, my next not question. Not all of them. Like, not, it depends. Like, you know, I have to, like... Like, I'm not going to play something that I don't... Like, like, what are you thinking about? I know you're thinking about something... <laughs> Okay, I'll ask you a question that I asked this one guy that told me he was an actor. Okay. <clears throat> I said, would you be willing to play any role? And he goes, yeah, any role. He said, I, it, <laughs> that's where it, where it went. Yeah. And when I asked him, he got super nervous. I said, mm. would you ever play a gay role? And he, he goes like, well, if I find the artistic side of it, maybe. Huh? He, he goes, well, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, probably not, you know. And I go, so if they brought Robert De Niro in, and I won't kiss that dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're the second guy who said that. And and you know you know tacos a lengua with him you know. Nah. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm just it's just a question because you say you're an actor and sometimes yeah, but there's you know I think there's boundaries you know I think there's like I don't know man just weird. Okay, like let, let me name some guys that I seen in movies. Okay, mm. um, there's a movie it, named Cruising with Al Pacino. Mm. And if you guys want to forget all about Scarface, watch that movie. He plays an undercover gay cop. Really? Cruising? It, 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 cruising, yes. And it's, it literally goes into that. <laughs> then you had Jim Carrey. I forgot what movie. He does a make-out scene. Will Smith played those well, roles. You know, that is like... That is like you really got to like... I don't know. Like, you know, it's... Those, those guys really... How can I say it? I don't know. Okay, so so that's a big time no for you then. No, <laughs> no, no. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy. Like, okay, would you ever play a woman? Like they say, we want you to play like a a a, a woman dressed in drag, you know, for a scene. <laughs> you know, uh, 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 what's that guy's name who did Big Mama? Well, yeah, that, yeah, because if it, it, it's like a okay. comedy, you know, like okay. yeah, you know. All right. I, I could feel that, but no no sexual contact with uh, another man, you know? Like, All right. All right. 
Now, let me ask you this. Uh, you? Uh, no, hell no. It's a big time hell no. Yeah, not even if they pay you like, say, millions? M money doesn't impress me, so no. no. You're not easy? N I'm not easy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not easy. Are you easy? Nah. Okay. Well, sometimes <clears throat> when it comes with women. Uh, yeah, exactly. I could be weak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, as far as uh, women, do, do you have like a specific type of women that you would go out with and you don't go out with? I don't. Well, I think, you know, like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have a specific type, you know. Uh, okay. Would you go I out with? I like all with... flavors and all colors. Okay. So you like all colors? Skittles. Skittles. Yeah. Okay, Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm, I'm just asking now. Um, what? Obviously, all the girls you go out with are taller than you. Obviously, obvious. You know, but do you like them like medium size, short size, tall? There's no preference. Just taller okay. than me. What about thick or thin? I thick. like I like both, thick and skin. Not too plus. You hear me? Okay. Yeah. 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 No. Because it takes a lot to go through them cheeks. A lot. Yeah. So okay, I get it. So. But thick, I could, I could handle thick. I, I had an ex that she was thick. Okay, because there's men that just like say, I only go with chaparritas. Mm -hmm. There's some men that say, I only go with thick girls. And then there's men that say, I, I like petite girls. Mm -hmm. And then there's men like yourself that I like them well, all. Yeah, I know, I know this guy. That I'm not gonna mention the name. That he used to like petite girls because he used to like them. He used to like to make them scream. Oh no! Shit. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, really like you know. <laughs> And he looks at the ones I get, I'm like, bro, there's nothing compared to what you get. Like, and okay. I still make up the stream. No. Right, right, right. Now, now, as far as music is concerned, mm -hmm. you talked a little bit about you being on the music side. Right. Can you fill, fill people in that are maybe hearing the Maito for the first time? What is your involvement in music? Well, I started back in, um, what, 2010? Yes. With the singer. You know, and then from there, it's just like, it come, like, I started meeting other singers, and I started, like, coming out in their music videos. I started hosting for the events. Yeah. You know, started doing skits with them, and most of them got viral, you know. Yeah. The most, the most viral video I got in was, like, 26 million. No shit. You know, stuff like that. So, <laughs> I think little by little, people started to get to know me, and, you know, started to know that, you know, I know everybody in the music industry, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, going on tours, you know, opening up, you know, the tours. You know, hosting. Now, now, when you go on tours and people, and people hear you say opening up, are you yourself doing the singing? No, no, what I What I do, I host. Okay. I, I'm like a stage warm-up. Oh, okay. You know, get people pumped up, you know, I get people drunk. Right, While okay. they used to get me drunk, now it's paybacks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now when you say you pump them up, like, what do you do? Do you do, like, the MC Hammer dance? No, like, 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 I bring, like, a girl to the stage, and I get her drunk, or I, you know, if she dances, gives me a that lap, lap dance, or, you know, something funny, something, like, interact, right? Interact with the crowd, back and forth, you know? That's dope, that's dope. And now, are you still doing that? You know what? We stopped in 2020. Uh-huh, because COVID like, yeah, cut block. Yeah, because COVID, yeah, cut block, you know. So now we're, we're, we're trying to get back at it. You know, hopefully this summer we, you know, you, you guys will see us again in, on yeah. the road, you know. You know, there's a group out there right now that's like super, super hot. Peso Pluma. Right. Okay. Are you a fan of their stuff? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, something different. Yeah, you know? it is. It's, um, you know. You know, the, the, the guy is good, you know? Yeah, really he got good. A good he, he got a good um show. Uh, okay, like what, if, if if you were to give me a ride in your truck, mm. what would Maito be bumping? <sighs> we're driving around for at least a good hour. Mm -hmm. Corridos. Okay. Corridos, but like, also Peso Pluma, you know, Fuerza Regida, some of them, not all of them. Uh, Luis R. Conriquez, mm -hmm. you know, Osco Corridos, Chalino. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, it varies. Okay. Well, what about as far as rap? Are you a big fan of rap? I think the old school rap, like Dre, you know, okay. Ice Cube, and, and uh, who else? Um, Mac 10. Okay. You now, know. you say old school. Yeah. What's wrong with the new school? Is there anything wrong you with know, it? You know what? I actually don't listen to it. So okay. I'm not really updated with the music uh -huh. right now. But it wasn't like before. Okay. Like today, there's trap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trap music. And then they say that there's trap corridos. Yeah. Are you a fan of that? 
Yeah, I think, yeah, well, trap burrito sounds like, what, nata? Or tumbado or whatever. It's because that's, that's when things get, like, kind of complicated. There's trap, there's bellico, there's um, este, tumbado, you know. Now they have, like, different genres to, like, to a corrido, you get me? Yeah, you know, and I'm glad you explained it that way. Because there's some time where somebody says, oh, that's tumbado. No, that's this. And I'm like, it like, sounds like all Spanish know? music to me. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing, just, I can say it's just different, like, I think different inst- instruments. I don't know. Okay. You know? What about banda? Is banda in still? Banda, yeah, it's still in. Okay. You know, but the thing is that they, they mix it with with corridos tumbados or they mix it with corridos bellicos, like like Fuerza Regida. I mean, like yeah, like Fuerza Regida, and um, what's his name? Um, Peso Pluma. Okay. That a lot of people like. There's some people that started that charcheta. You know the. Sí. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he took that to another level. Oh, no shit. So he got, they, like, the charchetas came from banda. Yeah. Right? But he put it into, like, a group form. Okay. So it's weird. It's just weird combination that it just hit. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Are you a fan of that stuff, too? <clears throat> some? I like it. I like when, you know, people mix, you know, mix on some other instruments with something else and make something like a new, a new type of... um style you know right right okay now are you a good dancer when it comes to those music that music i'm not a dancer you're not a dancer no, i'm not a dancer not at all no so like a fine mama sota walked up to you say what's up papi chulo i want to take it to the dance floor show me their moves no i'll be like no you gotta go back to the couch and stand up <laughs> Meet me on the couch okay you know actually that, that's one of my videos that went viral i was dancing with a girl with a big old butt uh-huh and they caught me into it and it went like to 26 million. They conned 20. you into it? Huh? Or they caught you? Yeah, they caught me. Okay, I'd they say caught, they conned yeah. you. <laughs> they caught me and they filmed me. Okay. And that video went like to 16 million, I think. Just oh, shit. Of all, um, views. You know, it's really simple, like a 15, 15 second video, but it went. Right, right. 15, okay. 60 million. Now, are you a fan of reggaeton? Yeah, some of them is good. Bad Bunny, you like Bad Bunny? Uh, yeah, I, I actually. um. Which I had a little conversation with him like two, three years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. What was that like? He was, it was cool. You know, it's like, I wasn't really like, oh my God, Bad Bunny, you know, but <laughs> I'm not those type Was he of like, people. oh my God, Maito? Um, he was like, I, he, I, I, I forgot what he called me. He's like, donde anda Maito? Because he was like looking for me, you know? Yeah. And one of my friends said, oh, he's right there. And he just, like, took picture, a picture with me and stuff like that. And every time when my, well, you know Jimmy, right? Yes. Every time when Jimmy does something with him, he'd be asking for me. So last time he call, Jimmy called me, he's like, hey, somebody wants to say hi. And he passed Bad Bunny. Hey, que pasó? And this and that, you know? So. Right. It's cool. Not. Nah. Okay. Now, are you going to, uh, have, have you done any more video, uh, 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 um, come on, say, cameos, uh, appearances? You know what? Mm, no. This year has been. It's it's pretty picking up, you know. We ha- we've been having some crazy ass weather, like mm-hmm. you know, and that's fucking depressing. It's very depressing. Um, I have friends that live outside of like the whole LA area, mm. and it's sunny over there. Right. I went to freaking Bakersfield. It's fucking hot. And over here, it's fucking. It's been a fucking cloud. Bipolar. <laughs> fucking human hormone. I mean, the weather hormone is like <laughs> fucked up. And, and the thing is, it's it's been ugly here. And it's barely, like one, like one or two days ago, it's been somewhat clearing up. When people ask me, how's the weather? I say half and half, half cloudy. Maybe the sun will come out, Yeah, you know, but it's been ugly. It hasn't been like the good summertime here yet. Right. Well, it started what, today? Summer? Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. So. But then when it gets out, we're going to be fucking complaining. Because we're crybabies here. Yeah, yeah. First it's too fucking cold, then it's too fucking hot. We're never yeah. happy. Now, uh, Same I, thing with women. They're never happy. They're never happy. This yeah. is a perfect weather for women. You know, they're good one day, they're bad the next. But they're you, crying, you, they're happy, they're fucking, you know. You love them, you hate them, but you can't yeah, live without yeah, them. Yep. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, now let me ask you this. As far as music, if you had to pick one genre, Spanish or English, and English involves everything, whether, whether it's country, whether it's oldies, mm-hmm. whether it's hip hop, or just Spanish, you know, what, what if you had to make that choice, what would you listen to? As in what? As in like listening to all day? No, listen to it like it? from here on out. I'm just going to listen to pure Spanish or I'm going to listen to pure English. To listen, I just think Spanish. Okay, Spanish. Is that what you listen to the majority of the time? Yeah. Okay, okay. I asked this one guy that, and I should ask you this. I said, if you had to do life in prison, 
and you can only choose English or Spanish? Spanish. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, I know you are a dumb question, but are you a big fan of Ramon Ayala? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they, my, my friend had him for his uh, private party the last time. And you were there? Yeah. Shit. I was like right there. No shit. Did yeah. he say Mahito when he saw you? No. I don't think he knows who I am. Not yet. Not yet. You know? Right, right. Would you ever do something with him? Of course. But you know what impresses me, though? Like, What's that? I was looking at him, and I was like, so who's singing here? Because he's not singing. <laughs> The, the guitarist is singing, you know? The, yeah. the guy from the guitar, he's singing. Yeah. So I'm like, what's going on? Who's actually the boys, you know? And a lot of people have that, the same thing. Like, people like, oh, he doesn't really sing. Right, right. You know, the other guy sings. And it's okay. True. Okay, let me give a shout out to my boy Angel, because my boy Angel Montes, he, uh, he's like the, the weatherman of Wilmington, mm -hmm. also the mayor of Wilmington. And he is the one that put me on to Chalino. He's the one that put me on to all my Spanish shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so growing up with him, I saw a lot of here, a lot of Spanish stuff. Mm -hmm. But he's the one that put me on to uh, Esta Ramon Ayala. Pero right. Al mismo tiempo, me dijo que no canta. He doesn't sing. Yeah, he doesn't sing. So I was blown away. So I'm like, why the fuck am I buying the CDs? I should buy the other guy's CDs. Right. The guy who's singing. Right. And yeah. it's always been like that. I think they target Ramon Ayala. You know, they, they, they put all the money on Ramon Ayala, but actually he's not the one singing. Yeah. It's that's, crazy. It's, that is crazy. He's just a courting player, yeah, right? Yeah, he's just... No, it, yeah, he's a Korean player, and I think he's like like like, like the segunda, the second man. Oh no, shit. Yeah, cause fuck, it's better than being the cowbell guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I was like, who, what, what, you know? <laughs> okay, okay, and uh, again, my boy Angel he put me into Chalino. He put me onto uh, a bunch of other stuff because my mom would listen more to like, um, uh, what's his name, Juan Gabriel. Okay. Oh yeah, he's uh, good. Him. Uh, my dad, Ana famous. Gabriel, Juan yes. Gabriel. Uh, my dad was more like a Pedro Infante, mm -hmm. uh, and what's his uh, Los Panchos? Los more Panchos. like on that that type of side of mm -hmm. music. My mom liked the the dance stuff, like she, of course, Big Bookie's fan, I mean. So um, I listen to that. I listen to all that. No, <clears throat> no shit. Yeah, old school, like really old school, like like Los Dandies. You heard about Los Dandies? Yeah. You know that and um, Los Caminantes. Yeah. So let me tell you something. If you name a group. And I don't know it. Mm. I'm, an, I'm not going to lie and go, yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the last thing that I want to do is somebody say, I just made that name up. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but I heard about him. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, so if I don't know, mm. I don't know. Because I know a lot more English than I do know Spanish. Yeah, I, I know more about Spanish than English. See, so we can learn from each other. Yeah. See. So I need to be on your show. Well, I, I know like Easy E, you know, stuff like that, like back then, Easy E, um, you know, Snoop, you right, know, right. Uh, Trey. Okay. Who else? Um, Pac. Okay. Are you, you a big fan of Pac? He, he's good, yeah. I like Okay. Him. All right. Um, <laughs> I, I'm really interested <clears throat> in your show, you know what? And maybe one day when you guys do record, mm -hmm. maybe one day Pablito can uh, invite me and it's like, watch kind of like the making of one of them at least. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll be there cheering you on. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be there cheering you on. Now, do you ever plan to release your own your own music? Maybe like Maito presents. You know what? I, I was thinking of doing a dueto. It's called dueto, like a duo. You mean, oh, like, okay. Like a duo with, with just to take one, just to see how okay how it goes, you know. But like I told a lot of people, you know, I, don't, I, I feel like I don't belong in the music industry because I'm not an artist. I'm not, I'm not a singer, you know. I think I sing, but I'm not a singer, you know? Yeah, you just, uh, I, when I'm in the shower, I sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taking a, you know, but, yeah. Oh. But, um, but I have sing before, like on stage. Really? You know, yeah, I have sing before. Like also. karaoke stuff? No, 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 like on, like in front of like 7,000 people, 5,000 people. No shit. Yeah. What, what, like, what did you, can you give us a little taste of what you did? Ah, oh, right now. <laughs> just a little bit, man. Dude, um, I don't even remember, it was like, Really, like ten years ago. Just freestyle it. No, I don't. I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> you, you. I think if you go on Google, on YouTube, you you'll see me. No shit. Yeah. What about rap? Have you ever rapped? On, never. Never. Only okay. tamales. No, only tamales and yeah. presents. Yeah, yeah. That's so, it. okay. No, that's a good thing. Yeah, man. You know what? It sounds like sounds like you got a busy twenty twenty three year coming up. Hopefully, it gets busy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, have you been to any shows lately? And if you have, who have you seen lately? Uh, Luis Aguilar con Enrique. He invited me to his show. Okay. At the at the staple, well, oh, it's called a crypto now, crypto arena. Okay. Yeah, That's and cool. with Santa Fe Clan and and stuff like that. Okay. You know who Santa Fe Clan? I heard of them. Yeah. Yes. With I know him. they're a real band, so I say yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with them, you know, when we say Reconquistes, and actually right now we're seeing 
how can they incorporate me into their show? No shit. Yeah. So. That's dope, man. You know what? I'm glad to hear this. I'm, I'm really, really glad to hear that you got a show coming up, possible movies coming up. Yeah. You're going to possibly get incorporated. You got a lot of possibilities. Right. Okay. Let's see what door opens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, 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 one thing that some people ask me, what's the deal with the goat? Because you take a lot of pictures with goats. Is it uh, one goat or several goats? I got like 10 goats. 10? 10. 10. Like, they're, but they're miniature. Like like a little bully or something? Like, like a, yeah, like like half of my size. They're like miniature goats. Okay, and do they live at your house or do you have um, a ranch? I had them in my house. I had them in my house, but then I moved. Um, I moved them to my friend's ranch. Uh huh. Because when they're boys, when they're boys and they're not neutered, they pee on themselves. Like they pee on their face. <laughs> yeah, and they start stinking a little bit. No, you being serious? Yeah, I'm being serious. Oh, okay, but that's I like a, that, that's what they do. The boys do that to kind of like impress a girl. They pee on another... Uh, on their face. On their oh, own face. On their own face. Yeah. That's like their cologne, like, to attract, like, hey, what's up, baby? Like, you know? Like... like what's up, baby? They breathe, yeah? They, they do that. Damn. <laughs> and, and what do you do to impress a girl? Oh, well, not that. <laughs> Actually, I think I should start... I think I should start doing that, right? I'm going to go pee myself before I, meet, I go out with them. I didn't know that, though. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay. And the more stinky they are, the better for the female. Really? Yeah. See, but so that's why you don't. Uh, that's why one time I made a mistake, uh -huh. and I was like, "Why? Why are they not breeding?" Because I took that full shower before. Oh. Yeah, oh, and the no. people was like, "Nah, this this was too too clean." It's too clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't getting nothing. Smells like fabuloso, nah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. I, I did. I, well, I see. I just barely learned, and I hope you're not lying to me. No, no, it's for real. You could, you could even. It's like they're set. Like they took other their thing. Right. It's like this huge. No like shit. Like a pencil. Like a pencil? Like a pencil, and they start spraying themselves. Yeah, for real. Uh, look uh, it up. I'm going to have to Google it. Yeah, yeah, look it up. I'm not, I'm not lying. Uh, okay, uh, okay. I, I believe you, Maito. So, I'm like, I got two two freaking goats, you know, walking around my house, thinking like pee. <laughs> so, you know. And then the girls are attracted to them. Yeah. But, but you know, there's some girls in real life that like guys like that, that, that are dirty yeah. as hell, and they don't give a shit. They don't. There's conkas. Yeah, there's conkas. Fuck. Okay. Do you have any other type of animals that I we got, don't know about? I got ten goats. Ten goats. What about a monkey? I got. I got a monkey. I got a, no a toucan. A parrot. Yesterday I got a snake, like a six foot snake. Um. Uh, what else? You're over here looking like the Mexican Ace Ventura. Right. I got. I got two horses. Do you know how to ride a horse? Yeah. No. Sh now you don't need pedals for that, though, right? No, I don't. Okay. You just need balls because <laughs> they might take off on you anytime and you, you got to be ready. No shit. Yeah, I got um, two horses and three Frenchies. Oh, yeah, i seen the pictures of them. Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. Those those are, are, yeah. Now, I, um, are those, I don't know nothing about dogs because I wasn't raised with dogs. Mm -hmm. Are those Frenchies expensive? They could be, depending on the color, you know. Like, I have two that are kind of expensive and one is like the basic one, but okay. I just got them because I like the structure of them. Okay. And now, then I have a, a Belgium. I just got a Belgium yesterday too. No shit. Yeah. Okay. Now, like the monkey, how often do you kick it with him? Like once, like a month, once a month. Okay. Yeah. Is he, is he a big one? He's a spider monkey. He's like this big. Oh, so he's like, is he one of those Indiana Jones monkeys? Have, no, you, that's you ever, a cappuccino, cappuccini, something like that. This is a spider monkey. A spider? Yeah, spider monkey. I never heard that. I yeah. have to Google it también. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, what is it with all these animals? I don't know, man. I just. I think everything started at, in, in, like in the pandemic. No shit. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> they gave they gave me they gave me two two goats, and after that, well, I'm like, I'm gonna go get more. You know, it's like now, an addiction. It's like cocaine. No shit. Sure. Yeah, you you have two and you want all. Like you keep chasing that. Yeah. Okay, I it's get like it. Like Pokemon, gotta get them all. <laughs> you know, but it's cool because they're really really small, and you know, you could teach them like to be like dogs. You okay. potty train them. Hey, go outside. They go and you know. Now, now, as far as the goats, have you ever have you ever ate one? You know what? After having after owning goats, like I don't eat goat birria no more. No, I love it. I, I do. I, I, no, I, I, I probably couldn't because when I was when I was young, I saw my mom kill a chicken, like and pluck it and everything. Oh yeah, I saw that too. Le cortó la cabeza and that yeah. motherfucker's just jumping up and yeah, down. Yeah, put them in a, like in a what's it called in a barrel, bro. <sighs> Yeah. And after that, I didn't want to eat chicken. Yeah, so. was, because the iron, you smell the iron. Yeah, bro. So They did that, before I owned goats, they did that with a goat. 
and to, in a ranch because they're like, oh, my hijos coming, let's get, you know, let's cook them something. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> it's the smell, man. The smell got, got me. So I went to eat McDonald's and they got offended. Damn. Well, I think I would have gotten, if I would have killed my own goat and my hijos didn't eat. Well, that was before I owned goats. Okay. But like I said, the smell was really strong, like really gay me. Okay. You know, because they don't know how to wash it good. <laughs> Some of them. Is, is Maito a, a gamer? Do you play video games? <sighs> I used to. Okay. In well, the pandemic, when outside, you know. Everything's but, pandemic now, huh? Yeah, everything, yeah. I wonder how many kids were born during the pandemic. All right, pandemic oh, babies. Amazing. Pandemic babies, yeah. you're right. Wow. Yeah. Uh, do, do you have babies yourself? No, not yet. Okay. I was, but something happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said I was. Now, uh, um, are you... Are you the type of guy that when you're in a relationship, uh, are you faithful or do you like you know to what? keep it open? No, well, what do you mean open? Like, don't care about it? No, 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 not not care, but like, it's almost like, yeah, you know, I have a girl, but I also have a friend over here. I have a friend over here. Well, I'm faithful as long as she's faithful, you know? Like, now, if she wants to play games, I know how to play games too, you know? Okay. But, like, I always try to, like, Add more to a re- relationship, like for example, like if I see that she's not doing shit, you know, it's like, hey, you know, like you gotta do shit too, you know, like, <laughs> like for example, I had this girlfriend, right? Yeah. I met her like seven years ago. She came, she start, we started talking like last year, right? Right, right. But I noticed that she doesn't have a job. Oh. She doesn't, she doesn't do anything, and I'm like, how the fuck she gets her money, you know? Sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, dude, you gotta do something. Like I can't, you know, I. I'm, don't expect me to do all the work. I'm not like your guy. There's some guys that be like throwing money out of the girl. And You're not that guy. I'm not. You know, it's like, you know, like, how can I say? It? It's because some guys, they be doing that, and then the girl expect that to be to Every guy. Say, every guy. And yeah. if, they do, if they don't, they just walk out. Yeah, no. You know, and I'm like, hey, you want to do something? You know, let me know. What do you like to I always say, what do you like to do? Like, what's your goal, you know? Hey, well, I like to do eyelashes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll set you, I'll set you up with a business of eyelashes. You do your thing. Or even market my shit, your shit in my Instagram. And, you know, yeah. like, I always find that. Find a way to help them out, you know, so mm-hmm. they won't be just lazy. We're on us at home. Yeah, we're on us. You know? And this girl, she used to tell me, yeah, 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 yeah. But never followed through. Uh, so I'm like, nah, you know, I'm in the grind. You know, I expect you to be in the grind as well. You know, like, yeah, I don't like lazy people, like lazy women. See, see, but that, that that's the problem. Scarface has a, has a lazy woman. Who? Scarface. Oh, you, you know, yeah, you're right. Yeah, see, look at what, look at how yeah. the fuck they turned out. <laughs> no, it's true. And and, and uh, what was it? Uh, remember Casino Robert De Niro's wife? Oh yeah, también. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, go. Yeah, they're bums. Yeah, bums. That's that's what they are. Yeah, bums. Homie hoppers. Yeah. Um, so now, it, see, see, and it, but it's crazy because you're saying you like women that have goals. Yeah. Who are goal well, oriented. Don't you? Of course. Like somebody that works, somebody that has their own car, yeah. has their own place. She's already established. You know, well, obviously, you know, you guys are a team, you know. Right. Now it's only about her, her, her. Right. You know, most of these girls have kids. You know, right. what, what, like I, I told you, like, what do you have to offer me? You know, Rick, you got Rick. nothing to offer me. You got three kids. Yeah, you're pretty, but that's it. You know, with a pre-owned, you know what? <laughs> you know, it's like buying a used car. Well, yeah, on spares. <laughs> on spares. Yeah, no, I, I and know. And with their freaking airbags popped. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think we should have like a, 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 a car pack for women uh, to see yes. their history. <laughs> you know, how many boyfriends she had, how many... How many yeah. bodies she's had. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like how many bodies is true. Yeah. You, you know, it's funny because I've met some of these girls. I met girls that are very, very goal orientated. Right. They're winners. They're making and money. And they're attractive, right? Yes. They're like, they're, they're attract- like, okay, like not anybody, like, you know, like, you know, I like that, you know, I like, I like them to like, hey, motivate me as well. I motivate them, you know? Exactly. Go getters. Go getters. Yeah. You know, but, but in a legal way. Yes. Not yes. the girls that be going to like only fans and they're like, oh, I'm independent. <laughs> I want to see you being independent like 10 years before, uh, uh, was it? Before? Back in 2020, I mean, 20, the, two, the 200s, the big 200s. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm independent. I'm on OnlyFans. Yeah. You're showing everybody your nalgas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're very independent. Yeah, you're very independent. Yeah. Fucking so, go get your real estate license. Go sell, you know, houses. Something. Ex- exactly. 
You do great for once in a while. Oh, there's there's some girls that like to lie and say they're on. Uh, um, they they want to live off the government and just stay home. I know a couple. And yeah. then they're out in the club with a little Gucci bag and yeah. Dior, and they're like, oh, it's independent. <laughs> Fucking living in Section 8. <laughs> I, honestly, I've seen those. <laughs> <laughs> living out in the middle of nowhere with a Section 8. Oh, fuck. Paying $200 to rent. I'm like, girl, come to the real life. Yeah, come to the real life. Go home, take a shower. They turn the water on with pliers. Right? Yeah, no, uh, yeah. You know, she won't survive so, one day in fucking LA because shit's expensive. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I'm glad you're saying this because I've been feeling this way for a long time. You know, they got nothing to offer. Nothing. Nothing to offer. And, you know, guys over there. But there's these fat ballers that they fat. don't. Yeah. They just mm. are over here breaking bread with these girls. Right. You know, buying them bucanas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Buying them. There's some women that they're like. You, you haven't seen my story? No, I haven't. Check out my story. It's funny. Okay. Like one of my stories. Like <laughs> that's why I put it today. Okay. They're like girls, like they're right there popping bucanos, and then girls come, and then when it's gone, they leave. <laughs> you know. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh here you are. There's right. one that it's like. Um, Make sure everybody goes on a story. I know, right? Okay. Watch. Let me see. Follow my ito. Okay. Here we go. I think it's the. I think it's not there no more. Yeah, I put it this morning. No, but uh, oh, in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, like five five hours ago. Okay. And it's called Cuando se, termi uh, se termina la botella en el antro. Okay. But you gotta hear the audio. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's like a cartoon type of deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they're like, they're they're sorrows or something like that. But you should hear the audio when it says. Okay, I'll definitely. It's funny. That's what they do. Like they're like, they're like, oh, it's gone by, and they, uh, it's it's funny. All good. All good. Uh, uh, um. Now, now, do do do, do girls. Do girls, believe it or not, do those type of girls follow you around? Like, are, do you attract that kind of woman? I guess because of the environment that I'm in. Yes, yes, exactly. You know, I do. But I know you can spot them a mile away. I can smell them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel disturbance in the force. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. See? Yeah, you see? Yeah. They the force bit with you right there. Okay, now, okay, you know, here's the thing. And I said this a long time ago, because I see this a lot. Um... You get girls that go to TJ, and we're talking about these type of girls. We're not talking about good women. We're talking mm. about, because we praise those women, mm. okay? But hay unos muchachos que se van a Tijuana by fake nalgas, fake tetas, okay? Botox, fake eyelashes, fake lips. Um, and they want an honest guy. They want a real man. They want a real man. <laughs> like, Fuck. you know, and sooner or later, you're going to have to see them naked. You're going to see all that masa. Right. So, right. And they're calling us. They're, they're calling us ugly, right? Yeah, exactly. And they have to fucking put themselves together before go, to go out. Or else they look like fucking Frankenstein. For real. For real. And then they, they go home. They start. And then they start fucking taking they the wind. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> fucking mannequins. You know? Yeah, I, I know a couple of girls like that too. Okay, but but you know, and at the same time, okay, you you, you know what I'm a little, little leery about mm. when I see guys, and I hope you don't do this, Maito, and and if I offend you, then <laughs> I'm not sorry. But uh, um, when guys use filters when they take pictures, uh, yeah, <laughs> like the pretty filters, you mean? Yeah. Nah, that's not right. Like I get mad when girls be doing that and taking pictures with me. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but they be taking, I'm like, dude, take, take up, you know, because whatever they have, I have two, you know, I'm like. Yes. Yeah, but I try to avoid that. But yeah. Yeah, but then for them, like me, by them, my, myself taking pictures with filters, like, no, nah, I don't think that's. Yeah, because sometimes when you meet the girl in person, you want to tell her, can you put that filter back on? Right. Yeah. yeah. So, but. Yeah, it's scary if you take her home and then she wakes up like another, like you just got robbed out of your dignity, you know? Call the cops. <laughs> Uh, have you ever taken one home and woke up the next day and said, what the fuck did I do? One time. Can you walk us through? Mm. <laughs> because she took out her eyelashes. She took out, like, the makeup. The makeup. And, you know, but it's like buying a, uh, what's that, a new cart. I mean, it's like buying a cart in the night. It looks all pretty, oh, oh. and you know, and then when you wake up the next day, go check out your car, it's all scratched and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever buy a car in the night? 
Never. Never buy a car in the yeah. night. You know, you're absolutely right. Yeah. That, that I, I like that analogy. That's a good one. Yeah, never buy a car in the night, you guys. And those fucking, was it nightclub lights? They really confuse you. Oh, they, they do. Yeah, it's like, when you go to a shoe club, they're all pretty and stuff. They turn on the lights like, what the, the fuck? fuck? Night of the Living Dead. No, fucking zombies. <laughs> I'm serious. Most, some of them. No, it's true. Because I, w- I went to one when I was in my 20s and it was over. Turn on the lights. Mm. I saw girls with stab wounds. Right. You know, stitches fucking, on their stomach. Fucking cholas. Yeah. C-sections. Everything, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, Stretch what? marks. <laughs> Seems like she got attacked by a mountain lion. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> or lightning struck her. Maybe, yeah, you, you lightning struck her ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking look like Scarface. Well, fuck. Yeah. So, so uh, obviously, I can tell you like comedy movies. Yeah. Um, some of your all-time favorite comedy movies. <sighs> Take your time. That's a tricky one. Comedy, comedy, comedy. You know what? I cannot think one on top of my head right now. What about like Spanish? Do you watch a lot of Spanish movies? No. Okay. So, so okay, that's kind of crazy because you, you listen to all Spanish, but you but watch that's more when, That's when I get lost. When I, when I, when I listen to Spanish music, but when, when I see movies, that's where I get lost. Okay. Because it's not the same. Like, comedy is not the same in English and Spanish. Right, right. You okay. know, right? or when they do those, like, crazy, like, Salvadorian, like, translations. You know, oh, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it yeah, is. Yeah, they don't like, translate them correctly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, when they get those fake actors to do, you know. Okay. Now, did you watch the um, uh, Switching Subject? If you want to come back to the whole comedy thing, uh, movie thing, uh, we can come back to it. But did you watch the last, uh, I think it was Tank Davis contra... Uh, 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 what's his name? D- Garcia. What's his name? Tank Davis. Yes. Yeah, and I did. He, he fought that one guy, Garcia. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, do you think that guy Garcia could have um, continued? Continue? Oh, continue what? No, the fight. Uh, That's what I'm you asking. Know what? Did you watch a lot the fight? People, a, lot, a lot of people um said it that it was like supposedly um was it rigged? Fixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, dude, if they hit you in the fucking in the liver, you're gonna fucking right. You're, you're not gonna get up. You, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna hurt. Okay, okay, but you saw the fight, right? I saw the fight, yeah. But uh, in your opinion, you know, um, do you think he could have continued? Yes. Okay. Well, I think at least one more round. Uh, it's, it's, same thing, same thing. At least one more round, but he just gave up too soon. Yeah, Ryan Garcia, that was the name. Yeah, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I mean, I think, I still think he has a good future in boxing. Right. You know, but I just think that he could have continued. Why he stopped, only he can answer that. Yeah. People say that it was, you know, rigged, rigged whatever. We don't know. I've never been hit in the body like that. I've hit dudes in the body like that and they went mm-hmm. down. But keep in mind, he's had hundreds of fights. Right. So, But a wrong, like a wrong hit could fuck you up. Now, let me answer this. Have you ever gotten into an altercation, like at a bar, or at a fight, or at a... Well, I think when I was in school. Okay. You know, everybody was doing mosh pits, and I, you know, there goes me trying to be brave, fucking get into the mosh pit. No shit. And the next you know, go flying away, and, you know, everybody stopped. They're like, oh shit, we killed him. Here we Fucking, every, some guy comes, and he fucking tries poking me with a stick to see if I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody, everybody just stops the mosh pit because of me, because they, they thought they killed me, you know? No and shit. I'm like, with one leg there, my one arm over there, and everybody's just like, all scary, you know? Oh, shit. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, so, <clears throat> but like, you've never, like, like, for an example, you never had it, like, maybe we're with a female at a club, at an event, and some dude's like, hey, man, what you doing with my lady? No. Okay. No, never. All right. That'll work. Uh, I'll uh, be like, you, talk to her. Yeah, talk to her, right? Yeah. Talk to her. Now, do, do you go out a lot? Yeah. Okay, what, what was like the last maybe place you went to? Because I know you said, I asked you a concert, but a club, do you, what about clubbing? Do you go clubbing a lot? Or yes, I do. I, um, I try not to, but sometimes I have to go to collect some stuff. And and uh, and yeah, people see me around, they take pictures. And stuff like, like a that. walkthrough? You do yeah, like, just a walkthrough, go to the office, then walk out. And then okay, just, and you say you go, you go collect stuff. Can I yeah. ask you like, what do you collect? Money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, nothing else? No, nothing else. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Uh, uh, um, do you uh, uh, have anything booked this year where you're going to be possibly hosting again? Like, you have anything already for sure? Well, I spoke to Rancho Mille like two days ago. Uh-huh. So they said that we start, I think, July. Okay. So we'll see. Okay. We'll see if they, you know, right, come right. through. All right, that'll work. But that'll they usually work. let me know like at, like two days at, two days before. Okay, and is this all Spanish stuff or is yeah, it Yeah, Spanish part. Yeah, Spanish. 
Okay. So, and then soon we'll hopefully with Pablito's help, we get bigger projects, you know? Yeah. They actually, was it, you guys actually like send me something with Brad Pitt, no? Yeah. Yeah. George but Co- I wasn't ready. Well, well, oh. Okay, so yeah. th- this was something like a movie? Like a casting, right? It was a casting? It was a little role. Okay, yeah. it was a little role with. Little role. Brad Pitt. Hey, but little, it, it was a little group, but it was like with big people, yeah. you know? Brad so Pitt and George Clooney. I don't mind 10 seconds of fame right there. Okay, so, and what happened with you? How come you didn't show up? No, it's not that. It was just like, um, we submitted shit late, or we ha- we were not ready, like, ready, as in, like, pictures. Oh. Yeah, okay. it was, everything was out of, out, like, at the last moment, right? Yeah. Like that, okay. But hopefully, stuff like that will come. I know you said that when you meet like artists like Ramon Ayala, you don't get all grouped out. No. Have you ever met anybody that you did? I think I was just like in shock. Okay. I met um, Gene Simmons. From Kiss. Yeah, Gene Simmons. We were in the ele- um, we were in the elevator. We were going to BMI. No shit. And um, I. My friend, you know, he's a singer, so we were, we were going to go talk to them to, to BMI. And I was like, dude, that fucker is, like, tall, Yeah, you know? I was like, dude, show me your fucking tongue. Show me your tongue? Uh, yeah, I was about to tell him, like, <laughs> show me your tongue, you know? But I was like, I just froze, like, is it him? You know? But he looked, he, went, he looked at me, like, you know, like. Did you have any type of conversation that I was no, in? No, he just said hi. He just said hi, like, hey. Like that. And I'm like. Okay, you know, you just you know, get, stuff like that. I do get kind of like not start shook, but I'm like, wow, like you know, like that's him. Yeah, like wow. but but with the Mexican, you know, or the yeah, with the regional, I'm like, eh, you know, I don't. When I go somewhere and people call me, oh, you're conceited. People call me like, oh, you're not humble. But I don't like to say hi to people. Okay, I don't like. I wait for them to say hi. Okay. Why? Because everybody I'm up and they're up and they're nuts. Like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, so I wait until they say hi to me. Right. Then after that, I shake their hand. Because then if not, you look just like another group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. nuts. Yeah, yeah. I just stay quiet, and people criticize me for that. But really? Yeah, people criticize. Oh, you're not humble. This and that. And I'm like, dude, I just don't like to be all, <laughs> you know, like like that. It's not me, you know. Now, now. You saw Gene Simmons, and you said, "Show me your tongue." Okay. No, I was gonna tell him. No, no, I know that. I know uh. that. But. You just gave your age because ain't too many people that know about Gene Simmons. Yeah. So, uh, do you mind if I ask you how old you are? Well, I think we will we'll, we'll let people figure that out. Okay. Okay. Uh, let, let's do this. Let's put a, a poll up there. How old is Maito? Uh, can we do that? Can, can people guess or? Would you want to put like 20, 30, 40? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Even that. throw 50s in there. Yeah, so. 50s. <laughs> Four in the hundreds. Okay, just start twenties. Yeah. Because he, he's not ten. You I'm know, not ten. You're not ten. <laughs> I look like ten, but I'm not ten. Yeah. So. I could get away with. I could get away with it though. Yes. Going to the girls' restroom. Now, now ah. when you used to go buy liquor, did they charge you a lot? Um. If if you were to go now, still. Where? Like to a liquor store. Say 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 I got. Yeah yeah yeah. But uh, people like the clothes that people know me down. I don't get, get carded no more. Like I remember one time. I was going to sue the Kunga room. The, the, you know what the Kunga room? Yeah. I actually spoke to a lawyer about that because they, tra- they treat me like shit. But that, this was like about 12 years ago. Okay. Or a little bit more. You know, because back then, I had a matricula. Okay. Right? For people so, that may not know, can you kind of explain what that is? A matricula is like an ID from Mexico. Uh-huh. But the people that live here in, in, in the U.S. Yeah. I had one of those. Before, back in the days. So, you know, my friends, they were like, hey, let's go to, um, let's go to the Congo. And I was like, okay, cool, let's go. You know, everybody got in. I got carded in the beginning. Everything was cool. And then, um, you know, we were right there, chilling. Remember, I got carded in the beginning. Yeah. You know? So I went to go get a beer in the security, you know, hey, you, you know, you, you're not allowed to be here. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Yeah. You know? He's like, no, nah, you're underage. That's the thing about people sometimes. Or it's a tree. They don't even ask me, hey, can I see ready? They don't. They just assume I'm, I'm, I'm underage. Just like when I go to the casinos. They don't say, hey, can I see ready? No, they're like, hey, this little kid can't be here. He can't be here. Like, like kicking me out. Like, without no, like, without telling me, hey. Right. Can I see ready? So that's why when I go to Vegas, I just ignore the shit out of them. Mm. And I even flip them off. No shit. Like, I do whatever the fuck I can. And if they tell me, oh, you know what, you gotta get out. Hey, he fucking started it. Like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, right. Exactly. You know, like, I have the right to fucking, like, you know, it's because this is the thing when I get mad. Because they called me once. They don't need to call me again. Yeah. I told them, you guys called me once. You guys don't need to call me again. You guys have a hundred fucking cameras here. You guys fucking have radios. You guys communicate with each other. Right? Right, right. I assume that everybody fucking knows. Hey, you know what? Don't bother him. Exactly. You know? So, I bet you if I fucking steal something, I'll, everybody will know. Yes, exactly. You know? Or I'd be busking some shit. Everybody will know. Yeah. You know? So, I expect you guys to fucking, like, call everybody. You know, whoever you need to call. And don't bother me. You know? And they get all fucking, like, they stop. But... Yeah, I got, I get car, I used to get cars like 20 times. No shit. And it's like in the matter of like here to here. I mean, you know what? Next time just fucking wear tape and put it right here. Yeah, I'm going to put a fucking big old fucking silk screen on my ID. <laughs> you know, or, or I'm under, I'm, I'm over age, fuck you or something Yeah, exactly like that. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, have you ever thought about a, a, a possible clothing brand? Mm, no, not really. No, nothing like Maito's World. Well, know? I have like, you know, stuff to promote my stuff, you know, like, just uh-huh. like that, but. Oh, well, but like I'm saying, like one day, like when this thing takes off mm. and there's a meet and greet, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I have merch. You mean merch, right? Merch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have merch. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, 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 tell us a little bit about that. Like, like, where can people find it? Where can people buy it? Well, you know what? That's where we're setting up everything again because I had my technician do that, uh-huh. my old technician do that. And... During that pandemic, everything was slow. Nobody was buying, so everything got expired. So we're, we're hopping into that thing again. You know, I had some cool little merch where, like, with a goat, you well, know, with no a goat, with the, like, the drip, you know, they call it the drip. And, yeah. uh, which is, see to, uh, not, not see to, um, glow in the dark stuff. Where, glow in the dark. Yeah. Like, you know, so All we're right. bringing that again. Okay. Uh, uh, you think it'll be out this year? Hopefully, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, so we so we we covered movies. Right. We, t- we talked about girls. Mm-hmm. We talked about goats. We talked about monkeys. Uh, what else did we talk about? Um, 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 uh, music videos. Right, right. M- meeting movie stars. Now, g- what can people? Uh, I know we we kind of touched on it a little bit, but in twenty twenty three, you talked about possibly in July with the whole Jimmy yeah. Omili thing. You're going to be doing that as well. Correct. Uh, Maito's World. Right. Uh, anything else that possibly you didn't mention uh, that you would like to do? What would Maito do, uh, uh, you know, personally? Like, you know, you you already got everything lined up for what you want to do, right. whether it's the merch, the Jimmy, the Maito's mm-hmm. World. Is there anything that you say, this is what I want to do, and hopefully we can do it in the future? Is there anything like I that? I think um, what I want to do, I want to start my own um, foundation okay, to help people like, you know, people that have like kidney failure, okay. people that are not, because I, I, I've been noticing that a lot of people are so ignorant about, um, about, just so ignorant about health things. Oh, okay. Like, like kidney, like when somebody gets into kidney failure and they get into, um, and they get into like dialysis, they don't know the steps to take to try to like get a get a donor oh, you know so that's when people get stuck in the system like me i got stuck in the system for a while okay i got stuck for 10 years 10 years 10 years you know why because you know that's their job just to have you there the more they have you there the more money they have they get the more the money they make yeah, so sometimes make it's it safe to say that it benefits the hospitals to keep you sick yeah yeah really yeah does. and you know and, and especially they do that with the hispanic community yeah. You know, and it's sad. Yeah. You know, so I want to have, I want to create like a, a resource for them to try to get there as soon as, I mean, try to get them out there as soon as they can. Because I've seen people go okay one month, right? Like they come in in dialysis and like in two months they already look like crazy, like, like dead. <laughs> you know, for real. And I've seen people, because I used to do dialysis. Like oh, in a no, clinic. No shit. And there's people that, like, you're, you're, you're right there in the chair, you know, connected. I, I even have the wounds. Mm. And you see, like, you see, like, next to you, know, like, all the nurses run next, next to you. And that person dies next to you. No shit. Yeah. So I always tell people, one day, one day, another day in dialysis, it's another day that you could be, you could die. You could die. Right. 
wow. you know, not a lot of people last 10 years. Wow. Well, it's a blessing to be here, right? Yeah, I know. You know, and I want to give those people opportunity to like, you know, to get them out as soon as they can. Yeah. Well, I think if anybody can do it, I think you can do it. Yeah. You know, you know it's crazy. But, well, I mean, not only that, because you live through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you can relate. Because uh, a lot of times when people tell me some of these things, it's hard for me to say, I know what you're going through because mm. I really don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I could sympathize and, you know, but I really don't know. But I think that's good. I, I think a lot of people need to be more educated in that right. aspect, you know. Because you could get sick from the kidneys from whatever reason, like blood pressure, stress, you know, um, diabetes, the shit we eat. Yeah, the, the shit we eat, the shit we consume. Everything yeah. has freaking, um, I can say, um, conservative, what's it, um, what's it called? How you say it when you like to, to try to preserve preservatives? Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, now, now. Chemicals, you know, people say, don't wash the fruits or vegetables the correct way. Okay, now, since so, so you have your kidney transplant, have you changed your diet, the way you eat? Yeah, I, you know, help, I, I try to, you know, every day, you know, <laughs> but. Do you like Taco Bell? Do I like Taco Bell? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Okay, porque este güey, he's, he's a Taco Bell maniac. He eats at least twice a day. Really? Yeah. The healthiest fast food in America. The healthiest fast food in America with Diablo sauce. That, that's like the fake Mexican taco. <laughs> fake Mexican food. I like it, but I like to eat it every day, you know? Like yes, once way. in a while. He said it fits in his budget, so he buys like a $6 box. Really? Yeah. And yeah. He, he saves the Diablo packets. But... Uh, <laughs> Hey, put the sauce in the bomb, huh? Hey, you see it? Stay away. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now, now, now let's talk a little bit about food. What type of food do you like? Like, do you like Japanese food, like sushi? I like, yeah. I like, like, people tell me, man, you're weird, because I like weird shit. Okay, give us an example of weird shit. Um, dim sum. Okay. okay. You know, dim sum. Um, D that, are you like an octopus, like a squid guy? Yeah. Yeah. But now, like how I got operated, there's the limit stuff I could eat now. Like, okay. I can't eat raw. I can't eat cured with lemon, no ceviche. None? No, not, nothing, yeah. Wow. So it's like... A, do you miss it? I do miss it, you know, because my most of my friends are like, oh, let's go for a cocktail del camarón or aguachiles. And I'm like, oh, like, I have to eat something like cooked, cooked. Okay, okay. So you have to eat something like maybe some carne asada. I could eat carne asada. Okay, arroz de frijoles, yeah. stuff like that. Or, or fried fish, like a la plancha, you know, something actually cooked in fire. Right, so you can't have ostiones in? No. Only like uh, Rockefellers, like cooked in a freaking oven, but not raw. Oh, okay. Wow, they took all the fun away. Yeah, yeah I yeah. used to fucking slip through shits like, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. Are you a big fan of Italian food? Chinese food? Italian. Italian? Yeah, I like Italian. Okay. You know, I like any any kind of food. What 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 is think it's the weirdest shit you ever eaten? If if there's anything like that, because I got a story I want to share with you. Mm, well, I think like raw egg, like you know, like the little raw and sushi, the little raw egg. It's like kind of like caviar. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that. But, uh, you know what? Uh, as much as I love seafood, I never had caviar. Te gusta? You like it? When I could eat it, yeah, it was good because it's like kind of like salty, you know, salty, and then you have to get like a bag. Like a bagel with like sweet, so sweet and salty, you know. Okay, all right, all right. Now, uh, um, now, my quick story. Uh, I, I shared it before. Uh, I had a buddy that got invited to a. Um, uh, this family was uh, Islamic. Okay, so mm. they, they were Arabic. Okay, oh, yeah. And uh, they cooked the goat. Okay, and this guy was skinned, and they brought him to the table. Like this, like a table like this. So everybody's going to eat mm. off of the goat. But he said the goat was like chilling like this, like both his legs. And oh, his yeah, I can't see the, I, you know, I can't see the actual animal. Like, I yeah, can't. It, it, I have to, I, you know, I could eat dog, but just don't show me the head. You know, don't show me what it was. <laughs> you know? Okay. So, so they, brought the damn, they brought the damn goat. Right. Okay. And, you know, he's thinking that they're going to fucking get a tortilla and start eating the skin off or something or like the mm. meat. But no, what it was that they opened up the stomach, uh -huh. okay, and everything came out. Ugh. Okay, like, they, they didn't like clean it from inside. Okay, well I'm gonna tell you the story. Everything came out, and everybody starts with a, with like with spoons or whatever and just starts eating it. Mm -hmm. So the whole story was that um, they they made this goat fast like for three days. They didn't feed his ass. 
Uh, no, look, uh, I take that back. They made them fast for about three days, make sure they got all the shit out. Mm-hmm. All they did was feed them water. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then the day before they cooked them, they just fed them vegetables and rice, vegetables and rice, vegetables and rice. Okay. So, and then, so he had no more shit in there. They well, cooked yeah, them like shit, that. Because even though if it's fucking vegetables and rice, he's still going to produce shit. Right. They cut his ass open, so they ate the vegetables and rice out of there along with the meat that they were going with. It was still shit. It was still with shit. Yeah, you would, eat vegetables and and you'll still come out with shit. Would would you would would, would you would have tried it? No. 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 <laughs> would you? Hell no, I would have tried it. You like balut? Who? Balut. What's that? Balut is a half born egg. A duck egg. Oh no! Fuck that. You know, I like the Filipinos shit. will fucking eat that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to. Most of my technicians from the Isis used to. Uh, eat, they're, they're Filipinos. And balut. I used to, Filipinos, yeah, Filipinos. See, si, see. Si. And I used to be like, "Hey, you like balut? Oh yeah, it's like it's, they used to, they sell balut um, in the Philippines, like like you get, like you eat right here on Raspado, like, like in that? the street, yeah." They come, they, you know, hey, I want a balut, and they crack open the egg, and they put chili, and fucking um, lemon, and salt, and that's all. And so over here, we, we put tahin on it? And tahin, <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I, and I believe this is the name of this. I, I, a Filipino guy that I used to work with told me, have you ever tried aso? <laughs> nah, I don't know. And you know what the first thing that went to my mind? I was like, what? And he goes, aso. And I was like, I'm not sure where you're going with this. So I don't want to. Yeah, know. I don't so, so then he goes like, well, it's dog. That's how you say dog in the Philippines. Oh. He, 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 I go, you eat dog? And he said, yeah. He goes, you just feel a little hot. You feel human after. He says, but yeah, I eat dog. So now, have you ever tried dog? No. Would you try one? No. What about uh, caballo? Some people eat caballo. No. What about camello? I just take with like beef and chicken. And okay. lamb. Okay. Yeah. I met a guy from uh, Morocco. He used to order that shit. Uh, he used to order uh, uh, camel and horse. Mm-hmm. And he used to come to his house and he used to cook it, eat that shit. Well, I'll probably do eat it, but you don't have to tell me what it is. Okay. All right. Would you be mad if they told you like about a year later that you ate dog? It was a great Dane. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd be sad. Okay. I would be <laughs> really sad. Okay. But you know, a bunch of people in TJ ate dog. Really? Yeah, you didn't see, you didn't hear about that place that got closed because they were luring dogs in with a weenie, and then they killed them, and then they <laughs> they used to feed them feed them in Chinese food. <laughs> he said they lured them in with a weenie. Yeah, and then like the do- a lot of people had to like there is no there is no homeless dogs no more. No, 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 no homeless dogs no more. <laughs> dogs started missing, and you know, and then they found out, you know, it was the Chinese people that fuck. They found buckets and barrels of dead dogs. Are you, are you serious? I'm serious. Though? Look it up on YouTube. Okay, what about the lady from Mexico? Remember, she was cooking a human meat tamales. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. They, they, I think she cooked uh, her husband. Something like that. Her husband, and then I think she cooked like a little girl. And then selling the Because she was broke. They couldn't buy real meat. She couldn't buy real meat, but she'll fucking kill a real life person for yeah. me. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, would you want to know if you ate one of those? <sighs> I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay. I don't want to know. That's like, that's fucking with your brain. Damn, that is, that is, that Like, imagine people like, like, they, what would you do? What would you say? If they tell you, oh yeah, that was human meat. What would you do? Like, what, what would, Fuck. That's I, like I, something that you'd probably be like suicidal for. Probably. Something like that. It's like, you know, you're, you're, you're going out with a girl and you're doing her and the next thing you know, she was a guy. Oh my God! That's suicidal, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, that, 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 that mentally will f you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I have to bring this up because it, it it was trending for a while. It was trending for a while. Some, okay, I'm gonna say girl, and then I'll explain it. Okay. Some girl was filming herself like this, and then she showed she showed her man. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then she says something like, "I hope he still likes me. He doesn't know that I'm a man." Oh no. He was a, he was a, I think those people girl. should be sentenced to jail. Uh, well, because it's deception now. Right. It's fraud. Yeah. And then she turns around and they kiss each other and shit like that. It's fraud. That's it, like, it is fraud. Yeah. It is fraud. Uh, uh, so now if you went out with a girl like that, would you want to know the next day? 
That's what I'm saying. Women should have like, like a Carfax, you know, like they should have, they should, they should have something to know, you know, like, you know, because now with the advanced technology that there is, yes, you can tell. No, you cannot tell. Pablito, did I show you something today? <coughs> I show him a hot girl. Okay. And he's like, damn, she's hot. She's yeah. thick. She was a guy. Oh shit. No shit. Oh, she shit. was. She's deceiving. You wanna see? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I want well, to see. Well, you see, I, I, I messed it up already because you're going to, like, be very careful and, and find her <laughs> defect already. But if you will not know, okay. you'll probably take her home. Okay, I'll, I'll disregard everything you said. Oh, you can't just because it. today they're, they're selling things that you can tuck it. No, she yeah. doesn't have nothing. What do you mean she doesn't have nothing? Nothing. Like, she's... Well, what? she probably bent it backwards and put scotch no. tape. Like, like she's, she chopped everything up. Like, yeah. everything. No, no, sure. Not, like, she's... Not, She's still a guy, but she's on. She's a shim. Oh, she's shim. Watch, watch you. <laughs> watch, this is really funny. See that? Okay, see, see that's crazy because what? Like, what if you're going out with 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 it, and she, you know, okay, like this one, uh, this girl, she's sitting at a club. Wait, I asked her. You have kids? All right. Well, when 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 were you born? Are they yours? <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, you, exactly. you asked you like that. Yeah. Girl. Uh, you know? th there was this other video somebody sent me. There was this one girl sitting at a bar, and this one guy walks up to her and he says, "Te ves bien, bien buena, mama sota." Mm -hmm. And then she says like this, "Que me dijiste, cabrón." Oh, yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> See, those are the ones that scare me, bro. So, anyways, don't you have it on your screensaver? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Nothing. Nothing. I'm trying no. to see if there's any, any of my mutual friends that are liking it. And I'll show you more that you're like, damn. Fuck, Pablito. Man. Pablito was like, he was emotionally damaged, huh? Yeah. <laughs> when you saw that picture, did you go swing? No, I, I even went, like, when I first, like, Okay, but now on live, on calls with the Israel, I have to ask you. If you know it's a man, why are you following him? Oh, because she, you know why? Let me tell you why. One of my friends, that's her cousin. His, oh, yeah. yeah. That's his cousin. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, yeah I'm, I'm like, that's his cousin, her cousin, whatever. Well, anyways. <laughs> it's a long story, but yeah, that's why I started following. And she started following me back. He you know, started she's, following. She's an influencer. Oh, or okay. he's an influencer or whatever. Okay. You know, but that's the point. That's the reason why, you know, but nothing. she's in Mexico. She's in what? In Mexico. There's no way, dude. There's. Are you doubting yourself? Like, are you like, like, damn, this was hot. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. Okay, but now, if, again. She, it, even, it, she even operated her vocal cords. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, let me ask you this, uh, uh, um, Maito. What, what do you think drives a man to do that? Insecurity. You think so? Yeah. She's just, like, confused. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, okay, but, I, don't, I don't even know. Like, it's so weird. Like, I think, weird. Okay, see, but that's where men today got to be careful because that's out there today. Yes. Especially a lot of, a lot of Mexican clubs. A lot of them, but a service kid, there's men out there that like that stuff. They don't mind. Yeah, and she, you know, we, we we were we were talking with his with his cousin, you know, and and his cousin's like, dude, this guy, girl, whatever, gets a lot of people, like a lot of guys, politicians, you know, people with money, shit like that. Now, if and they know. Oh, and they know. And they know, but it, they don't care. Okay, now if she left you a voicemail. You know, papacito, you know, te quiero mirar. I want to see you. Nah. <laughs> you know, I'm out. I said, I'll be like, I'll be like What's, where's your friends? Because she has some hot friends, like that. They're actual women. Well, okay, but how do you know now? We don't know. Because they got kids. Okay, okay. Boom. They got one Adopted? kid. Adopted? Huh? Adopted? Or? That's Boom. the thing. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. She's confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. All right, fuck. How do we get into that shit? Yeah. Anyways. I know, right? That's like. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think this society is like we're we're mentally like. But Ew. but but you know what? 
I, there's been a couple of guys that have gotten mad at me because I've entertained this type of conversation, mm -hmm. but I don't understand how you can get mad at me when it's out there in our faces. Right. It's out there, okay? Right. So, so my thing is this, like, is. But it's it's more the men doing it than women are doing it. Right, and the men are causing all the crazy shit that's happening right now. Yes. You know, they're like, oh, you know, they don't value us. You know, there's discrimination. I'm like, bro, it's because you guys are out too out there. Yeah, way out there too much. You know, you guys could do whatever the fuck you guys want, indoors, whatever, do your own group, you know, whatever. Right. But don't take it on the kids. Thank you. Don't and fucking, you know, don't put shit in our libraries where kids could see it. Thank you. I remember when I was in high school, we get fucking suspended for one week for being a fucking playboy. Thank you for being a fucking playboy. Yeah, for bringing a fucking playboy <laughs> to school. Now it's okay to fucking have books, you know, a boy sucking on a boy. <laughs> you know? I seen that because my friend, <laughs> she took away a book from her son. <laughs> and she was like, hey, you gotta tell me, are you gay? What the he hell? was 13 years old. He's 13 years old. Yeah. He said, no, nah, I just took it out to be a fucking dumbass, you know? Right. <laughs> but I saw the book, and I was like, dude, this is not even right. No, you're, you're right. You're right. You know, and it's too graphic for being a fucking cartoon. It's too graphic. Well, it, it is way too graphic because these kids, I mean, their mind is not even fully developed right. yet. Right. They're, like, they're confusing the kids at the young age. Yeah. And I just think this is, like, something about the, like, like, they're trying to create a movement. Like, they're trying to, like, I don't know, man. It's just a cold. <laughs> a cold. <laughs> it's weird, bro. Why were you like, you know, like, okay. And actually, my friend, her you daughter came at her, right? Okay. She, her daughter came at her and she's like, Mom, she was like 10 years old. I like women. I like girls. Okay. And, and my friend's like, you know what? Shut the fuck up, you know? <laughs> she told me, shut the fuck up. Call me. T talk to me when you're older. You right. know? Right. So now she's 15. She's like, Mom, I like guys. Right. You know? It's because... They be, they be confusing the kids, you know, at yeah, a young age. But now they're passing that law, and I think it did pass. I'm not sure. Okay. I think we're going to talk about it next on News of Norby's. Uh, they passed that law where uh, if, let's just say, you have a son or a daughter, and your son says, Mom and Dad, I, I'm a girl. And if you don't acknowledge that and get him, I don't want to use the word help, but uh -huh. I guess help him develop that. I, I, just, I just think they have to wait until they're 18. When they're 18, you can do whatever the fuck you want. No, see, but now it's that the, the age limits, you could be five or six years old. That's the, but that's the thing I don't get. They're in the, you know, it's like my, my, my nephew. He likes fucking Pokemon right now, and tomorrow he likes fucking Power Rangers, you know? He's fucking confused. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like you, you can't really fucking, you know, believe a kid. Right. <laughs> Mom, right. I want to be a doctor, and then next thing you know, oh, I want to be a, a fireman. A fireman. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. You know, okay, when you're fucking old, eighteen, okay, what, what you like? You know, what's no, your preference? No, and you're absolutely right. My oldest boy, I know, he, I hope he's listening. It was funny. Uh, one day when he was a kid, he was probably maybe about nine years old. Yeah. And I just asked him, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And he goes, "Paparazzi." <laughs> okay. That's what he said. Yeah. And I was like. So you want to hide behind trash cans and bushes and take pictures of movie stars? Yeah. He goes, yeah. Wouldn't you rather be the movie star and have them take pictures of you? Yeah, you know. I don't know, maybe. You know, but you're right. They're just going through things. Going through stages. Yes, going through stages. I'm, you know. Are you still going through any of those stages? No, I'm done. <laughs> You've arrived. I'm done, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's, the that's what I hate, that they're trying to, like, pressure them to, like, figure it out at a young age. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not fair. But yeah. okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead. Any anything else, uh, Pablito, that I didn't ask him that we need to cover? Um, okay, um, anything that you want to promote, you want to push? Because we're gonna take some calls for about 15, 20 minutes tops. <laughs> but you know, um, but anything before we go there? No, okay. okay. Uh, do we have some super chats, you guys? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, uh, one one that I actually have personally uh, for uh, Mayito, uh, is it true that you populated the Inland Empire? That I what? Well, that, I, let me let me hear here because I can hear. What that you? <laughs> Go ahead. Is it true that you populated the Inland Empire? Yeah, I populated the Inland Empire. Yes. In what way? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, you conceived. 
all the children. <laughs> no, I didn't. Not that I know. All right, the Hernandez fan dropped 10. Saludos, compa, Maito, Peter at Amazon Automation Service. Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, all good. J, JG dropped 499. Saludos from Lennox, Cali, Maito. Do you still work Mario El Cachorro? Cachorro Delgado? Delgado? Well, we don't work together. We just, you know, sometimes talk. Uh, okay. Also, also, thanks, JG, for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Okay. And that is all of them. Yeah, easy. All good. You know what? Go, let's go ahead and uh, put up the. Um, let's go ahead and put up the number, and then let's see who calls in. Okay, let me go ahead and um, attach myself to to this. Um, all right. Tell me when I'm connected. Okay, anybody want to call in and ask Maito a question? Uh, hit me, hit, hit us up right now. Yeah, hit me up. Let's see. Tell yeah. me with your best questions. Yes, yeah, exactly. Hit them with your best questions. Hit them with your best shot. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do this. Okay. This is the first time I think we actually ever took phone calls with you, huh? Yes. Okay. So the number's up. Let's go ahead and let's put these headphones on. Want to make sure. I think we have an extra pair of headphones, uh, Pablito, if you want to listen in over there. Uh, uh, Norbert, if you can assist them with that, please. Okay. So let's go, everybody. Let's see. The number is up. I always say if you got the balls, make the calls. A lot of you guys had questions. So right now, let's see who is calling. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Okay, he hung up. He just wanted, probably just wanted me to say caller. Yeah. There we go. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony? It's Lottis from West Texas. What's up, Lottis from West Texas? How you doing, man? Doing well, man. Hey, uh, I thought I'd chime in a bit about the, uh, the transgender issue you know, we were talking about a little while ago. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know about it, but Twitter has rolled back the, uh, the policy they had where uh, before, I guess, Elon took, took control of it, um, you couldn't use, you couldn't misgender somebody, which means basically it means you can't tell the truth. You can't see a man with a, a dick and balls and say that's a man if he wants to be called a woman. Wow. Uh, you couldn't you couldn't do what they call dead naming somebody, which means, uh, for instance, if Bruce Jenner was once Bruce Jenner, now he's Caitlyn. You can't call him Bruce, or else that's considered hate speech. So um, mm. it's becoming very very militant out there as far as uh, this group of people. And it's a certain group of radical people. It's not all gay people. It's not all trans people. I heard that it was people um, with was money a, investing into all this movement. Yeah. It, well, it always is. You know, there's special interest groups, lobbyists, uh, politicians. It, they're all in. It, it's all one big, you know, regime almost. Right. It's going, going after the truth, going after uh, the status quo, r regular people who don't want to, you know, conform to the insanity out there. And uh, recently on, on Twitter, uh, it's been taken down since, but there was a, a transgender a so-called woman. And uh, they, he was ran out of a uh, public restroom because some, you know, some parents wanted their little kids to go use the restroom. And that thing was in there wandering around. So they, they, they complained about it or whatever. So this, this person went and made a video and says, um, I'm calling to arms all transgender uh, people, if you, you know, you need to go out and get a gun, fight for your right. So they're, they're, they're coming to a point where they want to impose their fetish on others at gunpoint. That's right. That's why and I was telling him that an they could do whatever they want, but like, yeah. you know, don't, don't throw it to the, you know, to people like that, you know, like yeah. it's always, uh, I can say, you know, it's a pretty hot topic, but, you know, sometimes when we talk about it, people get offended. Like, usually, the people are doing that right now, they're transgender men. You don't see a lesbian doing that. You don't see a lesbian um, complaining about it. No, you don't. You, don't, you, and know? you don't see women complaining about it. It's men that are always complaining about it. Men that are transgender complain about it, only because we don't let them do whatever the F they want, right. you know? They get mad. Right, right. Well, well there, there's, there's something seriously wrong in a society that's going to accept a man in wig and heels saying i can go into the restroom and follow your daughter your little boy right. whatever the case and and if you don't like it too bad i'm gonna i'm gonna react violently towards you right that, that's where it's come and 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 we've allowed it to get there and we need to take a step back and 
fight back and take back not only our public school system, but, you know, just our communities in general. We can't, we can't allow this very small segment of a very sick population to tell us what is right and wrong and tell us that right, right is left and left is right. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's just insanity. It's madness. And uh, I think it needs to stop. I believe it. I, I call it, it like too. common sense. You know, we, we should know what's right and what's wrong. You know, like, <laughs> obviously, it's like, come on. Exactly. You have your two-year-old, you know, seeing that, like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree with both of you. Exactly. I agree with both of you. All good, Lottis. Thank you, man. You're okay, always calling me some good call, stuff, man. bro. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, let's All go right. to the next one. <clears throat> let's go to the next and, one, you uh, guys. I think it needs to stop. I believe it. I, I call it like common sense. That's the the delay. Um, we missed like three phone calls, so you can call in right now if you want to get in. So let's see. Thank you for that, Lottis. Once again, it's such a hot topic, but it's a trending topic. A lot of people are talking about it. So please don't get mad when we talk about it here. We should be able to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. We uh, have that freedom. Yes. How they, how they have that freedom? Yeah. There you go. We have that freedom. Call your name or where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. What's up? Maito. What's up? Uh, Bad people with with a new with a new number. All good. And. uh Hey, Michael, I know you you got a lot of animals, but uh, I'm a mad scientist here. But did you know that if you, if you cross a uh, Texas fool with a chupacabra, you get a chupafierros. But, um, so I think that's what Tony has, right? You have what? Right. A chupafierros? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, hey, but Michael, hey, okay. you're, you're an awesome guest. You're an awesome guest. You're an awesome guest, dude. But hey, let me ask you, let me ask you, uh, so something of the obvious, because obviously you got you got a lot of game. You got a a, a whole lot more game than all of the iFood combined. But let, let me ask you that, you know, with, with your if you could if you could just share your um you know your mindset, you know, because you know because people could look at themselves and be like, you know, I'm not I'm not um, big enough. I don't have this or that, or you know, they they look at their resources instead of instead of being resourceful, but let, let me ask you, because you sound, you sound and act and live like an effective person. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you remind me of this, uh, this guy named uh, Jamie Giant from Australia, the, the world's smallest tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's also an actor, but, you know, if you could just share a little bit on, on that mindset as to, like, you know, that you see that the, you know, the cliche of, uh, it's not the, it's not the, it's not about the, the, Dog in the fight about the size of the fight. Oh, of the, the fierro. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I haven't had no complaints yeah, from there yet, you know? Like, we're cool about that part, yeah, department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think my mindset is yeah. just I don't give a fuck what people say, you know? That's good. I don't, because if I, oh, if I would oh, an, oh, analyze everything that people say, I would be, like, stuck at home, depressed, you know, doubting myself. Yeah. Crying. Crying. Yeah. Tricking off, <laughs> you know, like you know, shit like that. You know, it's like fuck, like you know. You gotta have thick skin for this. Really thick skin. Yes. You know, fucking pig skin. You know. Yeah, and a thick fierro. And a pig fierro. Yeah. <laughs> good thing. Good, good thing I have both. All right. But. <laughs> Order, well, man. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why? Hey, you need, you, 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 you need something to talk. Huh? Look. <laughs> I said, uh, legend has it that that Mato wears Trojan Magnum, you know. But just to let all the all the highness and the I know, you know. That's, the, the that's what the legend says. Yeah, you know, that's what. It is. All right, all right, cool. So, what you 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 have like? Are you depressed or are you like confused or you need therapy? You know, we could help you out here, me and Tony, right? Right, right. Not, are yeah, you okay? Cause, Emotional? Cause I'm, cause light. I'm I'm a work in progress. Right. It's because you know I'm I'm in the, I'm in the live chat. And I get cyber bullied by the um, the eye fool, uh-huh. and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm 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 big, you know, I'm I'm a mighty mouth, you know, uh-huh. that's it, boy, don't leave me alone. Right. And then you got Texas fools that are like, hey, hey, let's go camping at the Brokeback Mountain. And I'm like, Charlie, homie, it's like, you know, I gotta work on myself, you know. Right. So like, you know, you, you get all these people, and like all the alley fools are like, hey, fool, let's go smoke some weed or, or scotch. And I'm like, hey, come on, dude, let's be productive. Let's uh, let's share the rodeo radio. Get more subscribers. We're about say, fifty thousand subscribers. So absolutely, you know, let's 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 work together. You know, uh, many hands equal light work, and uh, you, you you know how it is. You know, some yeah. people want to grow. Some people just want to take it easy. Some people find get too comfortable. You know. Yeah, and and you get too I, comfortable. I just like asking, 
Yeah, man. Like right now, like I'm just wearing like um, my uh, pink fuzzy bunny slippers. I'm pacing. I'm pacing back and forth here on Skid Row. Uh-huh. You know, and I, and I got like uh, I got my my little pin cane on the side. You know. Yeah. So, you know, so I'm just with uh, with one eye piece. Like but with the Monopoly, Monopoly hat guy, you know. Oh, good. But that's it, you know. All but, right, but my that's brother. It, dude. Right, but thank, thank, thank you for taking, thank you for taking my call. All right, right Maito, stay up, man. All right, All right, late. All right, late. Late. Maito, what do you get when you cross up elephant with a rhino? I don't know what you get. Hell, a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, but... You don't get it? No, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. I mean, you have to be old school. Yeah. All right, come on, you guys. You guys were talking all that shit today, talking about I'm going to call in, I'm going to call in, blah, blah, blah. Here we go, okay. Caller, your name, or where are you calling from? Hey, it's Spencer from Sacramento again. I called in with, when you guys had news with Norby a couple days ago. All good, my brother. How you doing? You got a question for Maito? Yeah, I got two for Maito, and then I have to ask you something after Tony. But hey, can I hit Maito with my two questions? Hit them all you want. <laughs> hey, Maito, uh, I wanted to ask you. I follow you on Instagram, right? And I see on your Instagram page you wearing a lot of fucking dope shoes and sneakers. What are your favorite pair of shoes to rock? I think the basics, like Air Force. Okay. You know the ones. Yeah. The fours. Are you a big Jordan guy? I like Jordans, yeah. Okay. I like to collect Jordans. You know, when I want to go fancy, I'll take out the Gucci's. Okay. I'll take out the Dolce's. What about Crocs? Are you a Croc guy? Nah, I feel like, no, I'm not a Croc guy. I'm not a Croc guy either. No, you look like fucking um, Pan Dulce. Fucking, or what is it called? Birotes. Birotes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what about those Miss Pac-Man boots? Do you, do, are you familiar with those? No, I'm not. Oh, the... The red ones. The red ones? Would you sport those? I would sport those just for a picture. Okay. You right. know, but not for, like, go out on the street. No, somebody said when you walk, you go, waka, 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 waka. I don't know if that's true or I not. I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead, caller. Go with, with your next question. Okay, before I ask my next question, I wanted to say from personally me, my favorite shoes to rock are Jordans or um, probably uh, Vans or the Basics or Chuck Taylors. But mm-hmm. Anyway, work. my my second my second question was: uh, Do you have this, Maito? Do you have to special order your shoes? Like I know you wear probably wear a small size. How do you get your shoes? Uh, it's called the kids. It's you? called the kids section. Oh, you so you were a kid size then? Yes. All right. No. Oh, okay, I'm a okay, I'm a shoe size thirteen in men's. But anyway, before I go and let you go to the next call, I have to ask you a question real quick, Tony. Yes, sir. Yes, Tony. <laughs> okay, so hey, Tony, I know you said you got some amazing guests coming soon. I just want to ask you. I messaged you earlier today, and I sent a message. Probably, let's say about six hours ago in your Instagram DM. I was the guy on the Instagram that hit you up and I sent you the information on how to get a hold of that um, BG knockout to get him on for an interview and send a screenshot of his Facebook page. Did you see my message? And his account on Facebook is Hajon Ben Hinton. Did you see my message? Just no, no, I didn't, it. but I'll, I'll look it up uh, as soon as when the show is done. And uh, I will say this. A lot of people don't know that, I have been in contact with BG Naco like two years ago. And when we talked, he kept telling, because he lives, at, at that time he lived in Vegas, and he kept telling me, when I'm there, I'll hit you up. So it was one of those situations. We never set up a date like, I'll be out there this month, let's do it this day. So it was always, when I go out there, I'll hit you up. And it's been two years, I've never been hit up, but I mean, I don't expect them to. Maybe I should just be a little bit more on the side of like, you know, hit him up again and I'll see what happens. Yeah, I can, let me, um, after I hang up here, let me send you on your Instagram page a screenshot of his Facebook page. And also, I just say, because I, let me say this, you have to send him a friend request on Facebook before you can get a reply from him. Because I'm personally friends with him on his Facebook page. But yeah, he does live in Vegas. And I think he at one point lived in Victorville, but he's in Vegas right now. But anyway, let me hang up. 
and I'll send, I'll hit you up in your DM, Tony. All good, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Maito, so if somebody wanted to buy you a pair of shoes, what size shoe do you wear? I'm a 13 and kids. 13? And kids. 13 and kids. So if anybody wants to get in some shoes, some nice shoes, send them to, uh, well, at least DM him, get an address or a P.O. box, and uh, send them those shoes. 13C. They're called C. 13C. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. so come on, guys. Let's, let's go. Uh, let's get them calls in. We missed about three calls. Okay, here we go right here. Call her your name, or where are you calling from? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the one and only, El Malito Marcelo El Perro de la Calle. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm calling from Texas. Uh, I got a question for Mayito, and he says that he, he listens to a lot more um, Spanish music. So, rapero favorito o reggaetonero? Um, rapero, well, like Snoop yeah, yeah, Dre. Yeah, but in Spanish, like, oh, the, the, the Espa reggaeton, también. Español. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I mean, you don't have to, but because because earlier you were saying that you you listen to some Spanish uh, rap or music in general, right? So, mm -hmm. no más una pregunta. Like, reggaeton, pues, I think like the old school, like what, what's in right now? I don't even know what's in. Like I just remember Daddy Yankee. Uh, Oh, Farruko. Farruko's good. Yeah, Farru yeah, he's all right. You know, Farruko, Anuel. Yeah. I only had that one song. It was back in the, like, probably like 2010s around there. It was like, I don't know which one was it. Like, a, 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 but he was, uh, back then, he was like, he had a good song, like a couple good songs. But then now it's not really, I guess, not, not like rap, I guess. But it's more trap, basically. Mm -hmm. well, That's what I was also, Takashi. Takashi's pretty good, you know? Okay. You know, he's, he's, he's all right. Besides being a, a rat, and but... Would you, would you ever host a Takashi yeah, yeah. show? Yeah, why not? Okay. You know, he's, you know, he's good for being what he is. <laughs> I don't know, you know? I don't know what the hell. <laughs> he's what good. You think, okay, what do you think about Takashi? I, I wouldn't interview him. No, you wouldn't? No, why? No, because I just couldn't. There has to be a reason why. I don't really jam Takashi to be honest, my boy. But I mean, yeah, that's his thing. I mean, people like it. fuck with it. That's cool. That was all, that was it. That was only that's my only question I had. All good. Thank Hope you, you guys. Kind of, all right. Me personally, while we wait for another call, honestly, because of what he did. Right, but he, but I think you would do the same thing because like they did it to him. No, I I wouldn't do the same thing. It, no, they did it to him. No, I I and I get that you know, but my thing is that like okay. I'm only answering it from the outside looking in. If you take that vow to live that lifestyle, mm -hmm. then you go down with that lifestyle. It's not like, well, I won't snitch unless you snitch. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like the way it was. Right, right. So, But, like, remember, like, you know, like, why why are you going to, like, sacrifice your life, your family for something that, you know, like, you get me? Like, I get it. Hold on, hold on. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Caesar from Paris. Caesar from Paris. How you doing, my bro? You got a question for Maito? How we doing? How we doing? I didn't know it was uh, bringing your kids back to uh, work day, but yeah, how you doing, Maito? Well, pissed off uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let me see if you're a, are you a big fan of big chichis, Maito? Yeah, why? Well, I got this girl named Miss Pac-Man. Her chichis are so big. When she walked in, she looked like she'd be hitting fucking soccer balls with her knees. Isn't that what? How about that? <laughs> Wait, you, you, <laughs> you want to hit that topic again? <laughs> <laughs> he usually calls. Yeah, man. Gives, she gives looks a... like goddamn. She looks like Maradona out there, bro. <laughs> oh, good, so bro. Maybe, maybe we'll hook you up with that. We'll, you know, we'll make another podcast and we'll make it, we'll make it real interesting there, Mike. You thought about that? Well, okay. Whatever Tony says, baby. I don't know. It's all good, bro. You got a question well, for him? I, all you gotta know, all, all you gotta know is this: that Caesar from Paris, and I'm out. And he's out. There, I don't think he had a question. He yeah, just gotta yeah. make a statement. Yeah, right. That was it. Wow, oh crazy! Don't you hate that when you keep coming up with the same shit? Yes, exactly. Well, see, you know, we have the Rodian Radio Warriors that are faithful followers, and they call. Right. They call. So, so we're gonna go ahead and take one more call. Who's gonna be the lucky last call? 
Whoever calls right now gets a blow up uh, life size doll of Maito. So, um, <laughs> here we go right here. Okay, I think this is it. <laughs> Call her your name or where are you calling from? Jay, South Texas. Jay from South Texas. How you doing, Jay? Howdy. What, what's, what's up, Maito? What's up, Tony? How you guys doing? What Great. Good. Hey, uh, I got a question for Maito. Um, I still being uh as much as you're in into the uh, corrido scene, would you recommend or what is your or what is your uh what is your view on the kids of Chicano parents to stick more towards the corrido scene and I'm and I'm just speaking about like the uh uh oh. How 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 more of a how more like it's more accepted. I feel like it's more accepted. I feel like you could uh, uh, get farther with with the career. What, what is what is your what is your opinion on that? Versus versus it, rap versus hip hop. Well, I think they're taking their parents' culture and just making them their own. Like I think it's just another um, level of what they used to listen to. You know, I, I, I obviously you know. <clears throat> You know, they listen from the parents. No, you know, the Corrido has evolved a lot. Yeah. A lot. And these youngsters, you know, apparently they know what the fuck they're doing because they're fucking making it, you know? They're making it, yeah. You know, even though people don't like it, they're, you know, they're still generating. Okay, you know what? L l let me ask you this question on top of his. Is the Corrido movement is really big right now. Right. Really big. Right. Do you see it bigger right now than Chicano rap? Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. Because Chicano rap, like, do they have the same number? Do no, we, they the, don't. No. They don't. It's all in the numbers, like Pablito says. All the numbers. The, all num the numbers. numbers talk. And hits. Yeah, and hits. So, okay. I don't know, Jay, if he answered your question or if you had another one. Yeah, no, no. I, I was just thinking about that. Because, even, uh, even, even other cultures uh, are going uh, into our, our, our scene. Yeah. You know, you see like Faruku. You see um, Anuel doing corridos, you know? Yeah. Why? Because that's what's hitting. That's what's hitting, yeah. You know? So, but Bunny, you get me? Yeah. So we're taking over this. Yeah. Like it or not, we you know, even even Snoop came into this. And Ice Cube. And Ice Cube. Yeah. You see? What, so. What, what, what comes to mind, Maito, uh, when you were speaking earlier, you mentioned Santa Fe Clan, uh, um, and, you know, it's a numbers game, and everybody's after the numbers, everybody's after the views. Right. And, I don't see I don't see uh, the Chicano rap um, uh, 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 rappers getting the numbers that you, you know, know you know what I think it is get, you know what okay you know what I think it is this is what evolved uh, the Mexican music or the regional or the, uh, or the corrido scene now that everybody is doing duetos with everybody everybody is getting together and they're making a song. Before that wasn't really that that wasn't really the shit. Why? Because everybody wanted to be a star on their own. Everybody wanted to be the diva. Like, oh, I could do it better than you. And now they're like, okay, let's do tuetos. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I think Jimmy from Rancho Mille started all that, hmm. right? You don't see doing tuetos with um with um with with you know how can I say what, what is it um Chicano rap? Do you see tuetos like that? No, not too much. Not too much, right? I think if, like, I think, like, if they will get together and unify, like, how we're doing, I think something would, will make, something bigger will happen. Yeah. You know, but back then, it, that used to not be the trend about, and nobody wanted to do it with those with nobody. Yeah. Why? Because they were all divas. <laughs> how can I, how can I, you know, they're, they're selfish. It's the ego. It's, it's the their ego, thing. yeah, it's their ego. And that's why it evolved more than what it is, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Ice Cube, yeah, you know now, every, every, like now it's like everything with everybody, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you know that wasn't a thing back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, me personally, something that I paid attention to is that I feel like, um, you know, like 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 Mexican Mexican parents, uh, Chicano parents, uh, but more so Mexican parents, old school parents. I feel like they would they would support their kids picking up an instrument a lot more. Than spitting some raps. Right, because it's, 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 you know, like, you, 
You tell your parents, oh, I'm going to be a you know, Chicano rap. What do you think about fucking streets and cholos and stuff like that? Hey, you, you know, this has art, like, how can I say it? It has some art to it. Yeah. You know, you start playing the guitar, it's more acceptance than, yeah. than how can I say it, than Chicano rap. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All good. All good, Jay, man. Appreciate you calling in, my bro. Yes, sir. You guys have a uh, good night. You too. Yes, too, Maito. That's it. Whoever called in, called in. So, other than that, how did you enjoy yourself tonight? Good. Great. Yeah? You know? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, once again, anything you want to push, anything you want to promote, anything you want to say, if not, you can give your shout outs. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just, you know, like, hopefully don't, we don't get backlash on the whole. What's it called? Like the whole, what's it? All controversy is good controversy. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> some pe- I don't want people calling, hey, you know, you don't approve the gay people. And, <laughs> well, you know, but, but here's the thing. Because that's a big issue, you know. Everybody gets offended when it comes to shit. Like that. Yeah, but, you know, but here's the thing, Mike. We, we have the right, uh, we have freedom of speech, bro. Yeah. And uh, we can voice uh, how we feel. Yeah. That's it. I mean. And I feel like we're not doing enough to make this, like, kind of, like. Yeah, exactly. You know, parents are not, we don't see parents protesting. Recently, only one school did. One. We, yeah, one but school. But it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna do one. They asked to every week. I think we all need to get together, you know, because it's more, it's more of us than them. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They, they try to multiply. We're like, no, nah, you know, not playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, Manito. Uh, you want to give shout outs? Anything you want to say? No, shout out to all my people that support, you know, shout out to all my fans and people that are, you know, there, you know, actually there. You said shout out to my OnlyFans? No. Oh, fans. My fans. Oh, my fans. Okay. Oh, I am going to open OnlyFans. I'm thinking about that. For real? Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Okay, I, I'm curious now. Yeah. I'm not going to subscribe, but... It's going to be called Mayingo. Mayingo. Yeah, like kind of like Mandingo. Like Mandingo? Yeah, but it's called Mayingo. My you know, but well, I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I'm, women that want to re, be recruited, let me know. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Yeah. All good. Uh, Maito, once again, thank you very much. I always have a, an amazing time every time you're here. This is the third time you've been here. It's been great. I truly, truly appreciate you being here. Also, I want to thank Pablito. You know, Pablito always comes through. Pablito always answers my calls. I always answer his. Uh, we have a great relationship, and I th- I, I'm thankful that I met him. I also want to give a shout-out to OG Magoo. You know, uh, I want to give him a shout-out as well. And uh, let me, I'll thank my team. Uh, thank Norbert, uh, News for Norbies. Make sure you guys tune in and check that out. Also, uh, Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Also, my son, B. Scanless, and the Hip Hop Jedi. Also, uh, Magic Girl, uh, one of our moderators. And every, all the Rodian Radio Warriors out there. Everybody who liked, comment, subscribed, shared. Everybody who disliked. Everybody who had a great time in the comment se- section. Everybody who called in. Much love, much respect. Uh, like I said, we're, we're here because of you guys. So, other than that, uh, Maito, once again, thank you. Thank you. Call with the Wizard. I'll see you guys here. Uh, Saturday, I think Friday, I'm going to do Freaky Tales. Don't quote me on that. I'm still waiting on my guests to confirm. So, so I'll see you guys on Friday, and if not, Sunday. All right, we're out of here. Thank you. Thank you.